Well, here it is, yo. Welcome to my crib, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My man Vince, my man Styles. Thank y'all for coming. Appreciate you, peace. Appreciate y'all. Love, love is love, love is love. Love is love. My man Nasty, you love, know what I'm saying? Peace. This is officially the first episode, though. Okay. So, like, yeah. this is like kind of... It's the beginning. Monumental. It's a nice crib and nice feng shui oh, in here. You know what I'm saying? I tried to cool smell the incense and all that. <laughs> yeah, I, like I, wish we could, I wish we could transfer the smell through the camera. Hell yeah. I'd be ill. It's like a Black Mirror episode. Hell yeah. Oh, it, it do. Okay, word. I gotta feel like that, huh? Some next shit about to happen. Yeah, you can put oh, this smoke in the camera. That's crazy. Shit, where y'all coming from? I just got here. I was in um, fucking Rochester or some shit yesterday. Rochester, upstate? Yeah. Y'all had a show up there? Mm-hmm. I wasn't. Damn, that's that, that's that different show. guy. I ain't never Rochester. been to show up there. It's all the same to me. You do, do it every day. Where? That's a fact. How's yeah. shit going? Oh, it's all good? It's cool. Yeah, you can't complain. You don't ever complain. It's cool, though. All right, no doubt. What about you, Styles? Um, I was at the studio, juice, what, juice bar in the studio. Yeah, I got to come through to the juice bar. Yeah, yeah you. man, waiting for you, bro. Yeah, come on man. through, man. Next week, next week. Come on let's, through. Let's, let's set it Please. up. Let's set it up. Well, where is that? next time you're in New York, Yeah, too, that's man. easy. That's easy. Nice. Where is that, though? Well, we got, for you, you might want to go to 277 Malcolm X. Okay. That's our Brooklyn location. That's the bougie location? Yeah. Nah, we ain't bougie. Oh, that's right. Brooklyn, that's <laughs> like, Brooklyn. He said, for you, I'm like, what do you mean? No, it's Brooklyn, because you're okay, in Brooklyn. Okay, no doubt, no doubt. That's no our doubt. Brooklyn location. Yeah, we got yeah, um, yeah. 211 Nepahan and Yonkers. That's our Yonkers location. Yeah. Then we got um, 1028 Castle Hill in the Bronx. Then we got Tremont in the Bronx also. Oh, okay. All right, so, got a few locations. You got four joints. Trying to open the fifth one, you know what I'm saying? Talk. Let's talk, man. We can't <laughs> wait. We, that's what we, we need that, though. We're looking for that. Actually, like, um, we, we looking for for young people because the whole thing with juicing, the the reason why we do it yeah. and try to watch it is is for the youth, for the next generation, mm. and take care of the next generation. Mm. Like we in hip hop, and we you know we it's a a braggadocious sport. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's and it, we we say a lot of things about a lot of things, but the youth is kind of the most important for us. So we just try to bring balance to our neighborhood and the community. Get, get dudes to feel a little better, right. duck felonies, yeah. stay out of trouble, try to do more positive things with yeah. their time instead of going the wrong, that's my whole thing, wrong route so we can use a guy like you. Yeah, that's my whole thing. Like franchise, that would be beautiful that's for us. That's, that's easy. That would that's be beautiful, easy. that's yeah. serious. Let's, yeah. definitely, let's definitely talk about that. What's shit. the name of the juice bar? Juices for Life. Juices for Life. Y'all Juices heard? for Life. Make sure, you know what I'm saying, we yeah. in New York. Go yeah. check that out. And right. even at home, when you ain't there, just go get your own juicer, get your own blender. Go to the supermarket, whatever market Juice you get life. your fruit. Yeah, you got to you got to do it on your own. Like it's not like we always tell our customers, we definitely love your you know people coming in yeah. and supporting us. But the big thing is to bring it home and do it yeah. for your family, so it spreads. So you lead them by example. So no if you doubt. can't make it to the locations, do it yourself. Come through, get a menu. We got all the recipes in there, Dope. and bring it home, do it yourself, and just look online other juice spots. Other juice bars, whatever's yeah, yeah. in your neighborhood, and do it yourself. I need a Nutribullet ASAP. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Right Hell yeah. Get my juice and all. Right. Let's talk about um, State of Hip Hop. Mm. Our favorite topic. Our favorite, favorite topic. Favorite you are. Shit, our favorite past time. This is a good mix right here. You know here. what I'm saying? Like like, you already know how I feel about that shit. Nah, let, how are you feeling? Let's about hear it though. Let's hear it. I don't care. What's the difference? Okay. It's like what's, it's, it's always gonna be good shit. It's always gonna be, be bad, bad shit. shit. It's what you like. It's what you don't like. Okay. It ain't never gonna be no part of nothing ever in one time period where you like everything, no matter if it's hip hop, sports, cars, whatever. It's never. Yeah. It's, it's a, yeah. yeah, yeah it's I hate true. the Patriots, man. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> somebody <laughs> wrong. Somebody wrong. You know right. You're right. You're right. You right. You right. Shit, you know, it is what it is. It's um. That's facts. What you think? <laughs> Um, it's it's fifty fifty. I think it's fifty fifty. I think it's fifty fifty. I think it's more like seventy thirty That's what I mean. right now. For hip hop? Yeah. How? How? Like I That's just feel like I just feel like it's imbalanced. You know. What I'm it's saying? not imbalanced. You don't think so? I you wanna know so. why? Why? You know the people that you put in that seventy? Yeah. You think they can afford this house? So it's not in balance. No, I think they could afford a crib. They so can't get it. I think, it's I think, I think they got cribs I can't afford. So this, so this, this, this is what I'm saying. All right, streaming there. Come on, man. You talking about? Uh, you were talking about a three hundred dollar check every six months? But I'm for them, especially they don't got no publishing deal, so they can't. <laughs> they can't play no venue more than five hundred seats. Yeah. Maybe a thousand in a big market, but that ain't gonna pay your bills. They got twenty people with them. 
because they they doing it for the Instagram type thing. So they paying for five hotel rooms, $100 a night, maybe more because they want to flex out and floss, mm -hmm. blah, blah, things like that. Everybody got to live the same quality of life because they got their homies, you know, in their pockets. So they living with them things. They're not paying the producers right. They don't got their publishing deals right. They don't got no business management. So how they making their money? See, that's why hip hop's 50-50. I agree with them, but that's what makes hip hop 50-50. I think... And it's, it's do and it, and it's and it's great. It's a great Very point. point. Yeah, yeah. I'm older than y'all, so yeah. sometimes Same you got to take the age gap yeah. difference and the age gap into consideration. Yeah. See, hip hop for me is not some. All he said is as, as a hip hop businessman mm -hmm. that yeah. comes into my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely as a businessman, yeah. thousand percent. Mm -hmm. As a hip hop head, none of that shit matters to me. I just rhyme. Right. Yeah. Like I don't. Like I don't. I'm not gonna check. I'm gonna check the sales when I'm on my business, man. Shit, yeah, I'm gonna check the, the venue. Other than that, what's the beat? Right. And I wanna murder it. Mm -hmm. like but see, but that, see when that's it comes what I just, I just wanna murder the beat, and I want my fans who appreciate me to hear me murder the beat. Mm -hmm. And then but I'm see, gonna make it work for but after when you think, But when you think about it like that, then it's always gonna be 50 50 because it's gonna be that's what you and what you don't because it's a million people you wanna hear. You know what the difference is for me though? Is that in the old, like, in, not the old, but in, the, in hip hop in like the late 80s, mm -hmm. Like, there wasn't a lot of whack rappers it wasn't mm. that was rap, getting but, somewhere. But it wasn't a lot of rappers, period. But yes, it, it was. It was, though. It was, though. Oh, yes, it was. It was. Not like now, because now it's easy to yeah, do. But but mad but, rappers. But it was mad saying. rappers. But you, can, but you can be a whack rapper down the street. Don't nobody give a fuck about you. It ain't no down the street. Still no more. Rapper, no, my, my, no, my point there. is that it wasn't yeah. always 50. You're saying it's always going to be, and it always was. Well, I mean, based on your perception, it can always be 50 50. Because it's like. Because back then, it was like every artist that came out was fire. I see. I ain't believe and that. Not, not, and I don't even mean like. In but a, you gotta come out now. I'm talking like 88, 89, 90, 91. See, you didn't hear it. Like me, for me, rap. like for me, <laughs> my hip, my hip hop grandmasters are like my my forefathers and the people I consider like who got me going yeah. and laid the like laid it out for not even just me. I feel like they laid it out for my whole generation. Yeah. Would well, have to be Rockham, Kooji, Rap, Kane. KRS. That's the era. Like, that's my immediate 40. You got your Name Chuck wack rappers right. from that time. It's a lot of wack rappers. I, that's from one that thing time, I don't do. From that time? I believe so. I it's believe it's, it's, always, wack, it's wack niggas in I every time. I always believe it's Come always on. been wack people. Like, because you don't love yeah, everybody. I definitely, I definitely you love certain that. songs. You love certain vibes. But it's like, if you didn't buy that album and soak it in and you yeah. can't repeat that second verse on that Seven joint that ain't a single. Right. You don't really love that guy. Come on, bro. Like, for, you know every, I mean? for every every day, La Soul is ten niggas that came out trying to sound like that. That was trash. Facts. For every Wu Tang, it's a fifteen man group oh, coming out after that sound ratio, like trash. Yeah. It right. always is because what it's gonna be. You talking about rappers in general. So if you sit down, if you hold saying, on, hold on, name hold on. some whack rappers from it that don't, era. It don't. It don't matter. You talking about the internet. You talking about this era. Plenty so, of this so, from so, this era. Because they got Instagram. So what I'm saying is, if a if a nigga if a nigga make a uh, listen to an album and say, oh, I love this. Shit, I want to make music, and they gotta go rap at the park or try to book a show or rap at their high school. You not go see them. All a motherfucker gotta do now is say, "Oh, I'm finna put it. I'm finna put a music video on YouTube or Instagram but or something yo, like that," and somebody gonna laugh at them, right? So what I'm saying is, if you're not counting the whack niggas that was at the high school in the late '80s, early '90s, you can't count the whack nigga on the internet because so you just seen it because it's too much. No, the truth. No, but what sure. about the For nice sure. niggas in the high school? Exactly. Back then and now. Exactly. You, you know couldn't even, you couldn't even like, get in a cycle if you I feel like it's wacky. more nice niggas in them height, like, you know, using yeah. your, your your example, I feel like it's more nice niggas now getting overshadowed than it was whack niggas, like, let's say, back in the day. But like you know Style said, he doing it for the beat. So if they doing it for the beat, who give a fuck if they get overshadowed? It is what it that's is. Where it, that's where it really comes in with... Cause you what talking you about, want to do and how you yeah, want to do it. Cause you talking yeah. about all these niggas, right? You talking yeah. about all these dudes. Like, name, who was the new nigga two years ago? Three years ago, last year, yeah. four years before that. So it's like, but you, you, they went up top here. You wasn't saying Fetty Wap, you wasn't saying Asher Roth, you wasn't saying niggas that was at the forefront. Yeah. You ain't think about them motherfuckers because they that's come true. in and they go. Designer was last year. That's true. Ain't nobody right, say but, So look, look, let's talk Rich about Rich Homie Kwan was three years ago. But he was that's, the let's talk about this not, though. not to disrespect yeah. nobody. You yeah. he just named at all yeah, whatsoever. No, no. But they was the But there's a ones. big yeah. difference between hip hop and rap. For true. Like, it's a big, a big, culture, like, now, I don't know about nowadays, and yeah. I can't say it, because, yeah. you know, that's the one thing with me as a veteran I like to say. Like, I believe it's a young man's sport. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? And if you can last to be get middle-aged and then, you know, and make it in it, then that's what you're supposed to do. It's a hobby, yeah. then a job, and then if you're nice enough, 
If you one of the elite, then it's a career. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Out of it. So, uh, is everybody we naming, or you just name right now, hip hop or rap? And that's where I think Whoa. things become a little confusion. Yeah. You know nah, what I mean? That, that, that's I think, you know what I mean? Because right if you don't got bars, like if you ain't saying no shit, then I'm like, holy shit, rewind it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look what he said. Exactly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. you two dudes who people gonna say got bars. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. So now another dude who make a, a radio song, and I'm not knocking it, mm -hmm. with a nice hook that nobody remembers yeah, yeah, yeah. the bars or nobody even gives a fuck, and he just mumbling, and I ain't knocking mumble yeah. rap neither. Fuck it, get your bread how you gotta get yeah. it. I just want young black men to eat, so for yeah, sure. I ain't gonna really knock none of that shit yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. yeah. Yeah. whatsoever. Up, for sure. But it's, it's, like, it's like saying if we boxers, like, right? right? If we boxers, like we all mm -hmm. boxers here, we all do martial arts, we all do basketball. Mm -hmm. If you take this shit serious, we all in the gym mm -hmm. all fucking day, 12 mm -hmm. hours a day. Yeah. Crap, jumpers, layups, dribbles, right. moves, mm -hmm. techniques, different techniques from different, that's a different craftsmanship. Hip hop mm -hmm. is a, if you're a hip hop, if you're an MC, you have a craftsmanship mm -hmm. that you owe your fans that every time you do it, it doesn't matter what that shit sell. It doesn't matter yeah. what's going on. I've been to clubs, I've been, a, I've, been, I've been in Madison Square Garden, it have been lit. I've been, in, I've been in House of Blues, it been lit. I've been in Street Corners, it been lit. Right. I've also been in shits where it ain't been that lit. And it's like, so do I not be who I am and give them 100% yeah. because it's not lit now? Now it's not, nah, I do what I do yeah. and yeah. I do it how I do it, but right. that's the craft of an MC. So a, rapper, a rapper, a regular rapper doesn't have to do that. Like, he doesn't even, but he's, not, he, but he's not old to give his fans that. That's like, all music though. You know what I mean? Let me ask you this, that's, though, because you, you did say something that like, I thought is like, we definitely got to talk about. What is hip hop? What is rap? I think it's just what I said. I think, I think an MC that believes in hip hop, hip hop is something you walk, you eat, you shit, the culture. you it's breathe. Culture. Mm -hmm. culture. It's a culture. Full it's culture. a religion. It's your way of thinking. Rap is the It's your way of thinking. Rap, is, rap is like, but what I can't everybody say. in here can rap. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody in this fucking room, the cameraman's, Downstairs, outside, <laughs> everybody can fucking rap. Anybody rap watching, is cat, I mean, cat, cool. bat, mm -hmm. fat, like that's rap. rap yeah. When you start Home playing with together. words and putting it together and telling stories that represent a whole yeah. town of people, city of people, mm -hmm. nation of people, when somebody popping his shit and popping your shit and go, somebody I don't fucking know from a fucking can of paint, right. and they hearing you and they popping that CD and they hear your story and that shit is in their heart, and now you talking what they living, you living what they talking, like, you know what I'm saying? Now for them, that's a different embracement. That's a different embodiment. That's a different belief. That's a different feeling coming to your show. That's a whole, that shit got nothing to do with money. That shit yeah. got nothing to do with True business. It got, so it's look, just a, it's a feeling but of a said, mutual but respect but that but you but provided. But what I can say that's different from yours is that if hip hop is a culture and a way of life and a brief, I can honestly say that that shit don't exist where I come from. At all. You don't think well, so? And that's your job. Hell no. Cause why, why you say that? Because hip hop culture had a brief. If we if we talking about we talking about like the elements of hip hop shit like that, yeah. that shit was like a three year phase in the in the early eighties. And after no that way. it was over. With. I promise. No you. way. Because niggas look okay, so no my mom is sixty one years old, right? Yeah. They was on like they was on like sky music, reggae, battle ramp type shit. Then you got radioactivity rock, that yeah. kind of dance music, right? That was an early era. Then you got what you call like you got just, like, bring, just bring that over here. You that got shit, like, that shit should brother. be on the table. Yeah. Some juice for a living. <laughs> yeah. But you got like you got like. You talk about all this. Yeah. <laughs> but then you got but then you got then you got Easy E and all them motherfuckers, right? Yeah. That's an element of hip hop, right? But they, they was making they was about the they, but they was making hip hop music. But what I was saying is it ain't no culture in LA except for gang culture, black gang culture, Mexican gang culture. It's nothing else. But so I what I'm like, so what I'm saying is, in in retrospect, it's really broader than that. Cause what I can say is oh, out, out here, doing? but I'm saying out here and out there, niggas are living completely different. So is is it really about intentions? Cause what I can promise you is niggas ain't had no ciphers in high school, won no rap battles in high school, niggas wasn't rapping in high school, middle school, nothing. I ain't never seen that in my life. But we still. Well, maybe you just you have to place. I went to I six high schools. I, 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 I went to Long Beach, Jordan. I was yeah. learning. Esperanza. I was in. I was in juvenile. I was in. But let me ask you this though: Do you consider culture, yourself though? a person to have bars? If I ask you, yeah, but that's easy to me. I honestly feel no, like that's but I, easy. But I'm just saying. I feel like I feel I feel, I feel like I feel like to have bars, you get some, you get a you get a, a B a B minus in English, 
and you pay attention, you can write a rap song I'm with some bars. And it's really not do that. Do you have bars? I'm, not, I'm just asking, but, do you yeah, have yeah, bars? Yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's subjective because it depends on what you want to hear. But it's 50 niggas on Smack DVD that got bars, 100 niggas on King of Dot that got bars, things right. like that. So, so for so me, like, for me, for sure. I hear what you say. But saying. that's hip hop. But for me, long as y'all got bars, yeah. hip hop is alive. But that's what I'm saying. No, no, no. So I ain't saying it's dead. I ain't saying okay, it's dead neither. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying how he's saying the thing is. I'm just saying for somebody like me, you could you could say. Like I've seen you, like I, I got to, like you can say you better than who you want. Yeah. For me, that's hip hop. Yeah. Like some people yeah, yeah. might feel offended. Like you yeah. could think you better than the world. I applaud you for that yeah. because that's hip hop. Yeah. Right. Cause you gotta have balls to say, yo, I think I'm better right, than so pop. Yeah, so I'm better than pop. I'm better than big. For me, you're fucking out of your mind and you're crazy, but that's hip hop. But what I'm saying, what I'm saying is when it comes to bars, a lot of the times that's structural too. Cause what I can say is, it's all about it's all about relativity because if a motherfucker came out today, not no disrespect, if a nigga came out today rapping their structures like they was Cassidy or like Lloyd Banks or Joel Santana, yeah. a lot of motherfuckers wouldn't really equate that to having bars in the way that today is based on what they might get nah, from the Kendrick Lamar. Nah, if, if a nigga came if a nigga came with punchlines, it's over with. Don't sit here and say nigga want to hear the Lloyd Banks punchlines because they don't. I mean, I don't if hear from Lloyd Banks anymore. Well, yeah, but the structure ain't really it. What what mm. beats you gonna rap on like that? Because if that was the case, niggas would be would, 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 would be championing, you know, Uncle Murder. You got the Killer Mice. You got niggas that's to rap with that structure, but yeah. it ain't really what it is in today's day and age. So it's really all about perception. Well, yo, that's the way the what, what, that's right what right. I'm saying. Though. But this is Lloyd point. Banks is a lyrical yeah, legend. No, he's Yesterday, yeah, he's today, Definitely. For sure. tomorrow, but what I'm saying is next week, no matter what. So it ain't really gonna work like that. We can. Say How that? it ain't gonna work. We can say that like, because it ain't. That's like saying, like, like saying, no, like, no, no, no. no I'm gonna give you a quiet example. You can no, say yeah. that, but you then you can't say that. Yeah. Lloyd Banks is a little under my era, right? Mm -hmm. A little. He's my right. era. Little late my era. He's yeah, like yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, the draft yeah. after my draft. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I'm yeah, sitting maybe here talking with y'all. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't call. I didn't force you to call me. I didn't force. So. Yeah. Everything has a place of relevancy. Oh yeah, yeah. In yeah, hip hop, yeah. whether it's hot, whether I, 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 whether you say, no, yeah, yeah, I, I get yeah, what I yeah. totally get. Yeah, 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 when was sure. early, when was our early high school, middle school, Lloyd Banks was the best rapper. What I'm saying is, why it, should he be but, now? You, you yeah, out? Yeah, but no, but Joey's no, out. No, look, listen, listen. Dave East is out. This Don Q's out. I'm not talking about him specifically. What I'm saying is, if a motherfucker came out trying to position themselves, they self in the same way and they bars in the same light, then it probably wouldn't work as well. I don't agree with that. But I do agree with the idea of like, yeah, that motherfucker coming out with that type of rhyme structure is not gonna go as far. That's what I'm saying. As it would have went cause, a cause, few cause, years cause ago. So what I'm saying, when you got, we got, when, when it's a point in time where the best rapper can quote unquote be, if motherfuckers don't think about their general consensus amongst the public, they gonna say Kendrick Lamar, right? Yeah. If Kendrick Lamar is doing all the intricacies and all the shit that's coming off the Lupe Fiasco tree, you know what I mean, the, the, yeah. the Tech Nine Eminem tree, and a nigga come with A B. A B, it's not gonna sound as in depth. It's like no, when Big Sean like was the last nigga that was like that. I give you and that. Now niggas can't do I that. I give no you more. that now. Mm -hmm. The punchline now, now check it out. Have y'all ever listened to Ultra Magnetic? <laughs> never. No. You never listen to Ultra Magnetic. You should too. You yeah. should listen to Cool Keith. Yeah. yeah. Now that's not a. Now, no, no, me mean, and Kiss yeah. sat yeah, down to right. smoke one day. Mm -hmm. Cool Keith was like Kendrick before Kendrick. Early. And he's way before our time. Yeah. There's nothing new under the sun, nothing definitely, old under the yeah, moon. Definitely. Agreed. Every cadence, mm -hmm. every Agreed. whatever, whether what, like but you mean, you, I agree though. with you. One, that one, two, one, two may yeah. not work. I don't like this thing. It might work for years. But that shit been out before. That style he talking about, not exactly Kendrick style. Or even But that far out style been out way before we was even out. Word. So there's nothing like it's just about your timing. That's what how I mean. It's presented That's exactly what I'm saying. And the way you could do it, because there's a there's a yeah. there's a time. Where it's, I think it's, it's hey, less. But listen, cause, cause, I, cause, I think cause, it's cause, less cause, about cause, rhyme yeah, structure though. I think I'm it's saying, more about moves. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, look at look at it like this: if a motherfucker is trying to learn based off of. The Lloyd Banks structure, because that's that's who, okay, that's the nigga that made me want to rap. Said he was late to the shit, mm -hmm. and they they trying to learn and develop their shit with that type of palette. But he got to get the beats from niggas today. His shit might sound a little bit wonky. It might sound off. So what I'm saying is, it's really about the part. The timing is a perfect beat with the perfect flow of lyrics. Because when you listen to we listen to nigga like Scarface, Scarface ain't never really be a motherfucker that was coming out trying to hit niggas with bars, 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 bars like that. He was telling the story. Mm -hmm. Now if you put them stories on the wrong production. 
niggas ain't gonna really want to hear it like that. So I think it's really about where you sitting at at, at a current time because I'm, I'm still like I'm telling you, until I start rapping, even to this day I ain't even gonna front. I ain't never heard no Nas album. No, 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 no Jay Z album. <laughs> oh, no, no, on the down, on the down, no Nas, no Jay Z, no none of the first. Never heard it. Because well, why? Where? Where are we gonna hear that? I'm talking about 2000. This is the no, 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 no. no. Listen, no, no, let, 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 let me tell you. Where, where are we gonna hear that? It's 2000. I was born 1993, right? Yeah. That's when Doggy Style first came out. Yeah. You got 2000. To all right, all right, well, Kanye came out. I can relate to that. Yeah, but like, I, but listen, I met niggas from the West who like I never heard. Like, like, so I, was, I, 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 I was born 1993. When I was in the third grade, 50 Cent in the club came out. Right. So what I'm gonna say, if 50 Cent came out when I was in third grade, what? where I'm at, you was in third grade, I was in third grade when 50 Cent in the, in the club came out. I was, I was so in like second grade. So if I was in third, <laughs> if I was in third grade, when, if I was in third That's grade, crazy. if I was in third yeah, grade when in the club crazy. came out yeah. and the iPod came out when I was in like the seventh grade, iPod Zoom come out six, seven grade. When was I gonna hear Romantic? If it ain't on the radio, it ain't on TV. Now this is. Now, but I see, hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel you. But this is my point though. You know what I'm saying? This is why I say that is imbalance. You know what I mean? Because What's being pushed, what's being publicized, is not the good shit. But I'm so so. That, this is why I'm cutting off. No, no, no. Let me not even I'm, say I'm, good. I'm, 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 I'm going to tell, tell you why it's not in balance. Because when we was growing up, we what was on the radio was E40, Too Short. They had some some people from the south, but not really. Old Snoop, Old Ice Cube, and they was playing Old Tupac still. So it's not necessarily in balance. It's all about it's all about culture. Because at the end of the day. We don't know what it's like to be in the snow. So niggas really don't want to hear that. But look, let's be you real. You know what I'm saying? Let's be real. Let's be real. I'm glad you brought yeah. that point up about you being in the third grade. Because let's be real, though. Everything that's being publicized, mm -hmm. everything that, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. is it, at the forefront and shit, this is what the kids is hearing. Mm -hmm. So let's be real. It's nothing that the kids are hearing that's helping the kids out. It depends. And, and that's why I it feel this about Because what's help? Help is, 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 is non this, 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 this culture, this, this genre mm -hmm. of music was started, and mm -hmm. correct me if I'm wrong, it was started on spreading messages throughout the communities. You know what sure. I'm saying? Decoding sure. messages yeah. throughout yeah. the communities to put each other the whole on. Culture. To the spread whole culture knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I see very little of that going on today. That's, that's, that's and that's why I say it's imbalanced. You totally so, agree. So but maybe but I should have put that out there. What I can't say is that's not that's not no new shit. That that shit happened. What's not we, new that, shit? That's happened since we we was kids. It wasn't that much positive messaging no, coming is out with our kids. This is true. Because I was we was in the studio when they had the conversation. With no ID. This with, is uh, true. I, but what I was no say, ID court nothing. I was like, that's hey, right. It, it was a song I wanted to put on shit. They couldn't clear the sample. I said I pay for it. But and you know what though? I said, but I even, told the niggas. Even, I, I, I actually, I was like, I said, name one nigga. I said I was born in 1993. In 2003, I was a little ass kid. Name one motherfucker from 2003 to like now to like the kin the new niggas that you could say was putting out music that was new that we felt like belonged to us. Not y'all, not motherfuckers I was doing before we was kids, because if it's before you, you're not gonna connect to it right. I was like, name like one nigga besides Lupe Fiasco and Kanye West that came out and made a kid feel like they gave a fuck about us who was trying to push their message. Nas. They probably just ain't make it. Nas was, Nas was way before that. Right, right. Now, this is where it comes in. Yeah. This, is what, this is what I'm saying. And this is where the importance of it lies. And, and this, is, this has nothing personally to do yeah. with either one of us personally. The guy has to do with the craft. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You wake up every mm -hmm. day, you put your time into what mm -hmm. we do. You put your time into what we do. We put time and we put hours in. Yeah. And every other craft, we can't be young black men that mm -hmm. let a craft that, 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 mm -hmm. that's this important, a culture that, that's this important, let history slide. Because mm -hmm. that's how shit get fucked up and that's mm -hmm. how you die. Like, that's you know music, what I'm saying? That that's that's like even with all the NBA players. This NBA yeah. player is your age. Or name all the pop and younger rappers than us, you name, man. younger than you and mm -hmm. your age. They study tapes mm -hmm. before them. Players Facts. that was way older than them. They know the from LeBron Facts. to KD mm -hmm. to Westbrook to all the new dudes in. Mm -hmm. They've seen tape. They've seen mm -hmm. tape. They had to study tape. They had to That's watch. That's how they got mm -hmm. better. If it's a Kung Fu dude, yeah. they had to tell him about Bruce Lee. Absolutely. Chuck Norris. Like that. So with what we do, there's mm -hmm. so much money involved that that's what we can't afford to do. You don't got to love the shit, mm -hmm. but it's important to say, yeah. I checked it out. Like, I checked nah, it out because yeah. that's my no, history. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. 15 years. Hold on. Let me say hold this on, but in 15 <laughs> years, what y'all doing today, yeah. the shit you laid down today, or else quit what the fuck you're doing. It's not going to mean no importance if you ain't worried about it 
mattering in 15 but years. See, but also, yeah. also, you know what I mean? Yeah. But hold yeah. on. Really right. don't need what about this exactly. idea, though? But all music is like that, though. But what about this concept? Nah, hell no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hell, you can't say that. You you from black parents. So that's what I'm saying. Take, what I'm take saying. rap out the thing. Yeah, yeah. You from black yeah. parents. Take rap out the thing. Your parents listen to all sort of R&B music from the... They exactly. grit the shit they grit parents listen to. Hold on, hold on, but listen, but tell listen. me I'm wrong. Okay, but tell, but tell me I'm tell wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Brit pop in the 1980s. Who? Brit pop in the 1980s. Who's Brit Boy pop George, pop? exactly. Boy George, Yaz, Talking Heads, Duran Duran, all these motherfuckers was making the same song for 10 years straight. That's where we at now. Why? Because motherfuckers wanted money. Why? Because Michael Jackson made pop music. So what happened with that is, if you, if, you, if, if, you, if you look at Rock the Cat, The Clash, but The Clash was a rock group who started making Brit pop because they wanted to make a little bit of money. Because that what they were doing, the what they was doing wasn't mm. popping. So you got that, you got, you got, you got, po you got post Nirvana, punk music, which really, which is really grunge music, which is Seattle music based on jazz because Quincy Jones and Ray Charles used to play up there and they had all them kids trying to learn about instrumentation and slowing their music down. You got these type of errors that have happened in every single genre of music you, that stopped. The problem is we gonna sit here and act like the motherfuckers that's making the music, control the music, that's not what really was going on. And that's, it's never that's what I was sure. gonna say next. Sure. Sure. And, and, and that brings me to what I was gonna say next. Sure. It's definitely, for sure. it's definitely, I, there's definitely an agenda going on yeah, yeah. that's pushing this shit and opening, the, leaving the door wide open for all this shit to segue in. You know what I'm saying and be at the forefront. But the problem is, see, is see, it, 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 for one, it is a black issue because black people make music for, on a large scale, a lot of a lot of different genres. But it's okay. also just an issue in how music is digested and how music is created. Agreed. When when Cab Agreed. Calloway sold a million records with Hottie Hottie Ho, as most Def like to say, niggas wasn't talking about it. Why is that a part of the conversation? When you talk about music and you talk about art, when when niggas try to put music and art in the same in the same box, I just can't really fuck with it. But music like, is art. But not. But we can say that. It's an art we, firm. We, we we can say it's an art firm, but everybody going everybody gonna trade it in for commerce. Art art that definitely art, you right on that. Art art becomes commerce in the latter stages of it. People that make art create art. They give it to the art dealer. They give it to the art dealer. Gives it to the art buyer. And in ten years, it's gonna be worth fifteen See, million dollars. I, I Hold on. I but get what, what you're saying. But what I'ma say is, what yeah. I'ma say is, at the end of the day, can we really sit here and say it's art when everybody cool with they label for selling the shit to iTunes for a dollar ninety nine? It's art, but we can't pick our own price. It's art, but we create based on whatever niggas say. It's art, but we still making music totally videos, agree. mixtapes, and albums. So at the end of the day, we can really talk about all this shit. But at the end of the day. Everybody just gonna let niggas sit here, sign a dotted line, get their check, and say, "Get your money, my nigga." That's a fact. So it's nigga, like you said, it become That's a hobby, true. it become a hobby, it become a job, and it become what. So what I'm saying, we we expect to have Basquiat, we expect to have Andy Walls, we expect to have Damien Hurst, all these other motherfuckers within our, with our rappers, our producers, our directors, our people like that. We expect to have Cindy Sherman's with the way that, like, why is Miss Yelly not Cindy Sherman? When she put on a spacesuit, why Miss Yelly not in the mocha? When Cindy Sherman got whole exhibits at the Bro Museum based on her dressing up like shit. And Miss Haley done that in 15 different videos. It's because at the end of the day, that shit worth millions, and our shit worth a dollar ninety nine because niggas is focused on the wrong things. What I'm saying is, it's a million niggas that's photographers, but you can't tell a motherfucker that the nigga who take the picture that sit in the frame at Target is the same as the motherfucker that take the cover of the New York Times. We not gonna say that. But mm -hmm. they don't even pay attention to them niggas. The problem is we paying too much attention to the motherfuckers who not really doing it. If you look, look at Retina and all these other motherfuckers that's doing all this high-end graffiti art and shit like that, you ask a real artist, not to town fucked up, but niggas don't fuck with Retina that make art. You ask a real artist how they feel about him, they not even going to know who you're talking about. Murakami what made not them a real artist, though? That's where because, we get, because, because, I think we go on. with labels like. Yeah. No, 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 I'm I saying, don't, like, for you, for me I'm, personally, I'm, 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 I totally I'm, I'm, agree with no, what you're saying. What I'm saying yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Move to, just ask you real quick, though. we'll make it real is the fact that it's not based on that dollar. A motherfucker's gonna go do a billboard on the side of a building for $2 million. You can offer that to a lot of these motherfuckers that sit in these museums, and they're not gonna want that, because that don't really fit within their pedigree. But if you tell any nigga, hey, bro, I want you to get on the Grammy stage, or I want you to get to go on the VMAs, or I want you to put your shit on MTV, niggas ain't gonna say no. See, that's... Here's where, the, here's where the gap difference goes. And I, I'm not disrespecting yeah. or knocking anything. No, I totally feel yeah. it from a young... I'm learning, actually. Yeah. Right. I'm soaking it in from <laughs> a young, from yeah. an older True perspective. Indeed. True indeed. But this is where mm -hmm. this is where the conversation laps yeah. in hip-hop, and I'm pretty sure Nasty will sit with me mm -hmm. on this. Yeah. All in shitty named companies, artists, huge things, what's going on, that shit's dope. Yeah. But that ain't hip-hop for me. Mm -hmm. It's Agreed. never been. Yeah. Like... I, I, I'm gonna give you a perfect no, example. You say, you say exactly I'm your what I'm perfect saying, example. You're looking at, I got 20 years in. Mm -hmm. Money, Power, mm -hmm. Respect dropped 
20 years ago. Mm -hmm. 20 <laughs> years ago. I'm here off of rhymes. Word. I'm not here, yeah, I'm, man, I'm man, here man. off of strictly, I'm telling you my story. I, don't, yeah. I can't really speak for anything else. Yeah. I think when you make a decision mm -hmm. to stick to your craft and you, because I feel what you say, because no, I've been you, there. You're the, saying the same thing I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm saying, yeah, that's saying what I'm exactly saying. I'm saying, feeling yeah. what you're saying. I'm going, just going yeah. from a, a older, that's why I'm saying I'm soaking it up yeah. and I'm learning. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I see what you're saying about why hip hop is fucked up yeah. nowadays and what it is. Because yeah. I think the views of the young people and yeah. all the things that's involved with what we call hip hop or rap, mm -hmm. it's too much involved. Yeah, it's too Instead much. Instead of just art like, I wouldn't be a, I wouldn't be here today if I, I didn't at one point go fuck it I just rhyme like you know what I'm saying like I yeah. it, it was a point where we never I never we never had no big label check backing ever called yeah. the big huge thing is all the other big rap groups in New York boom behind you know what? yeah fuck it you got to rhyme dealt with the time not being on a record label you mm -hmm. about to get shelf mixtape fuck it you got to rhyme mm -hmm. so it gets to a point where you start seeing what you're saying I, mm -hmm. and and I, I guarantee you in five years you see me go you know what Pete? i see what you're saying because nah, you're gonna know how to figure out your business and, and you're gonna you're gonna see exactly because you're seeing the whole thing yeah. i feel what i feel you right yeah. here because you're a young artist yeah. and you vision in the game you in the game i can imagine you was just at school rhyming what your homies See, funny in the crib on some real shit? I, I never, no. I, never no. I never, I never want to be a rapper. I didn't make a song till I was damn near sixteen years old. And the reason I start rapping is because a nigga told me he got five hundred dollars a show, and that already dropped out. So like, if I can get five dollars, <laughs> I, 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 I was like, I was like, but you got bars. But see, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, on, on, bro, I promise you, acts like I, I didn't start rapping. Like, even as even as tired, I said I didn't start rapping until I was literally out of school. Went to Atlanta, came back, and was on the street. And I met I, one of my neighbors who lived by the park. His name was Lavish. He a rapper. He changed the rap name like Dijon Samuel. It was him, a dude named Chuck Juan, a dude named Rebio. And they lived in my hood. And uh, Lavish grandma had just passed. So she had the house on the other side of Artesia, down uh, uh, no other side of Atlantic, actually, when Long Beach turned to Paramount. And it was cool over there. So I, we was, I, we was staying at his granny house. And that was my homie. So I was just kicking it with him. One day he was like, you want to go to the studio? I'm just his homie because he lived by the park and like we was younger, yeah. we was all on some gangbanging shit, on some weird shit, yeah. and he was never on that. So we, I, we had always fucked with him because he was like, his aim in like the sixth grade was Bape, XLV, X Gucci, like the nigga was always on some shit that niggas is on now. So that was my homie who wasn't fucking around. One day he was like, you wanna go to LA with me? I said, for sure. And, he, and we went to Sid House from the internet. And that's what Sid and Tyler and Taco Norm was there. And the niggas was like, oh yeah, we can get $500 for a show. I'm like, I can take $500 to Arizona and, and, and buy five guns for $100. If I can, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. If I can buy five guns, five hundred a piece, and come back and sell for $500, i will make $2,500. And I can do that every other week if you're talking about doing a show. That's the only reason I started making music. But what I can say is, I don't look at it from no, this ain't my, no, my dream perspective. So I don't got no ego when it comes to certain shit. So I don't got a problem going to bust my ass for no show. I don't got a problem opening up for nobody. I'm, I open up for this nigga for, just, just because he asked me to go. And with no question, like, I don't care how much money I'm getting or none of that, I'ma go. As long as I'm, I don't lose no money, I'ma be straight. And it's right. before anything, you feel me? And it's my nigga since that, I didn't even know him before that. That's a fact. You feel me? I just like his music. But what I'm saying is at the end of the day, like we talk about a Bosque, a Da uh, Vinci, all these niggas that niggas throw out in their songs, right? When you an artist, it's okay to die broke. These niggas can't go broke or die broke if you're out here <laughs> rapping. Or you a clown. We clowning you. A nigga, a nigga, a, a nigga sell, you know, fifty thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, and oh, he's a bum. But it's only one of these paintings a piece. Mm-hmm. We ain't never clown on nigga for only selling one painting or only being in one museum or only or, or, or only doing one movie, That's only right. doing two movies. We clown. It's 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 like you said. It's not about the music. So what I'm saying is that's why that was my Lloyd Banks point. If it's not about the music, and the motherfucker want to make music when he start out about the music, niggas gonna get in his ear and his head gonna get fucked up to the point like, oh, that's not right now or that's not the flow right now. Blah. When you take joy from niggas. When it comes to certain shit, cause I was I I was going to school in Atlanta for like three four months, running from some bullshit. And when I was down there, that's when crime mob was hot, swag surfing was hot, all that shit was hot. And them niggas made that, they invented that. So what I'm saying is sometimes it become a deeper conversation with you know black music and black ingenuity and creativity, because at the end of the day, it might not be necessarily exactly what it was at first. But the thing about it's not really I don't really believe in genre. My friend, the homie Zach Seacoff, little white boy from L.A., he go to Yale right now. He said, it's really no such thing as, as, as 
a genre. What it is, is a spirit of black music that is moving around constantly, and when the rest of the world get a hold on it, they label it and call it a genre. It's, it, 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 it's, it's a spirit of music that come with soul. Let's talk about that, yeah. though. Do we believe hip-hop should have established subgenres? Every, every, this is my thing. If hip-hop is pop music, it's, it's the most popular music in the world, yes, based sir, on, based sure. on, based on being creative. Absolutely. So, Rock music got alternative rock, prog right rock, punk, punk rock. That's it. That's what we on. That's, that's how, how we feel. That's, that's how, how we feel. feel. So yeah. it's like, so know what I mean, I think, mm -hmm. I, I think it's, I think it's limiting to not have to let, let motherfuckers yeah. have their badge. Because at the end of the Absolutely. day, by saying that, by saying, oh no, it's just something small, blah blah. Now you have, what, you have what people call classic rock, which is always going to be the most heavy successful. Metal, you got everything. Punk rock. You even got soft rock. But to be, but to, but to be, yeah, but to, <laughs> soft rock. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But to be honest, ain't none of these motherfuckers Van Halen. Ain't none of these motherfuckers the Beatles. Ain't none of these motherfuckers all this other shit. So, but you don't expect the small punk rock band who performing at CBGB to be the Beatles. In the same way, you shouldn't expect these little niggas that everybody don't like to be Rakim. They can't be that. That's, that's the fucking fact. Beatles. No, that's I, a fact. I, I and that's why and we don't. need the subgenres, though. Yeah, exactly. I feel like that's why, because, yo, the thing is, I ain't got no problem with, with the, like, you know what we saying? Like, yeah, yeah. we want we want our, our mm -hmm. kind of go out there and get eat. Your money. Mm -hmm. Get your money. Get your money. Feed sure. your families. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Definitely get your money. I ain't got For no sure. problem with that, but I just feel like it comes a little misleading when we're limiting it. I think that's it. what rap is. Mm -hmm. And I think that's like the same shit you're saying. But I, I think I, that's I feel, what it is. I feel like is. it's even more than that. You so, know no, what I'm so, saying? Because on. what he's saying, what he's saying is different. So what he's saying is uh, that's what rap is in the sense of like when it comes to rock music, right? Yeah. Rock music derives off musicianship. Yeah. Being able to play instruments yeah, and but, write music. But you can't that's, say that. You but, can't but, say it don't no, with hip hop. No, but no, but what I'm what yeah. I'm saying is I think that's what he considered. He considered hip hop to be the musicianship and the elements that create Bingo. the culture and, mm. ra like and, and hip hop is, is the, the rock. Hip hop, music. like because what's rock? Anything that fall under the rap. What I think though, no, 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 I think I think I think I think hip hop. I think hip hop is the fucking roof. Is the culture? Is is everything we saying? I mean, yo, the punk art is still hold on, rock hold on, music. Hold on, hold on. Is everything we saying? We I'm walking down the block. I can see that nigga listening to hip hop just by the way he dressed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think that's just the culture. But underneath all of that, I think is the subgenres like whether it's rap or it's trap or is you want to call it conscious rap, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Cause like I don't. Then believe, what do you? Then hold on, what do you hold on, when hold you on. do a lot of shit though? Hmm? You said what? Then what do you become when you do a lot of shit? Like what do you? Come this is a good question. I mean, no, but hold up, so, but hold so, up. You, you do could conscious be a, music. You could be a multiple. You do pop. I agree. I agree with that. I agree with that. Agree with that look, what would I be then? But then look. But then there's rock stars, fucking people in that genre who do the same thing. But that's the they problem. got a song on their album that's soft rock, and then maybe they got some heavy metal shit. You know what? You know what I'm saying? I, 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 here's where I go with that could be slight problem, right? My brother. This is a brother of mine, Talib, right? Yeah. In the '90s. When we met Talib, because we were the, the locks, mm -hmm. he assumed us to not really be into him, yeah. conscious rap or fuck with him. Mm -hmm. right. Like, that's where I say hip hop craft comes in. Because mm -hmm. when hip hop, none of that shit, man, I don't give a fuck. Like, when, when I heard Lupe, mm -hmm. and I'm Styles P. Like, you know how I represent? When I heard Lupe, oh my lord, this boy got bars. But yeah. you got like, you know fact. what I'm saying? When I hear some like, bars. Like, but no, but like you said, that's musicianship. You know what I mean? Whether you yeah, hear, whether he, you he hear, got bars. Whether, what, what, that's you, all I know. Whether you hear right. clapped in a slash, you know the nigga know how to play the guitar. That's it. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. So the thing, mm -hmm. so, like you said, you going yeah. right where I go. I yeah. think everything, I think they're late. Like, when you say, oh shit, like somebody you gotta rewind. Mm -hmm. And somebody you gotta listen to. And somebody you gotta mm -hmm. pull back and you talking to your mans about their bars. Yeah. That's an MC. He mm -hmm. falls under hip hop. Mm -hmm. That shit you breathing and you living, you and your mans talk about. I think all of that other shit could just fall under rap. That's why I say, let them all eat. You could mumble, mm -hmm. you could chant, yeah. you could just do hooks with four yeah. bars. Yeah, yeah. But look, you could fucking do it. All right, so look, so look. To that point, <laughs> though. Singing to shit that point, in though. Do we think that? All of those different type of elements, all of those different type of genres, subgenres, directions, whatever the fuck you want to call it, do we think that should all be confined when it comes to a platform like the Grammys, best hip hop album? We just gonna stuff all of y'all different niggas into. But no, this that that's some black category. shit because they give black people three categories. That's some, yeah, that's no, some black shit. Straight that, up, that but, ain't got no hip hop. They got fucking. I agree with you. That's I agree with shit. you. But it's progressed. Yeah, yeah they yeah. just crowned hip hop as being the biggest genre in the world last year. When it's been the biggest genre in the but world for the last show five to ten years. Is everything they got they, in the genre you call hip hop? What Taylor Swift doing? She got you. You understand what I'm saying now? Yeah. That that's like that's what I'm saying. That's the difference between 
today and yesterday. You can say, Nancy, like, I see, I feel, and hear yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. But all I hear in my head is Chuck D. Who gives a fuck about a goddamn Grammy? Me too. Grammy. Same. That's all I hear in my no, head. I Same. dig that. That's all I, I hear that. in my head but is look, Chuck D. Who gives a fuck? It's less about the Grammy. Because it's the people about, at the Grammys, oh, no, no. they not going to get up and know a fucking fact. verse. That's a fact. Game? That's no? a fact. But look, it's less about yeah, yeah, the yeah, Grammy. It's less I, about I, the I Grammy. It's more about the marginalization. You, you, you hear what I'm saying? It's more about the marginalization. Cause if we, niggas we, cared about marginalization, they would have kept the Soul Train Awards. Niggas want white people approval. That's what's wrong with my I fucking niggas. agree with you on that. And that's you the fucking source, problem. You, had a you don't need no approval from the Grammys, the Oscar. And that's the fucking shit. Nigga, niggas are dicky yeah. to go like, to the, the Grammys and not the go source accept award. the BET right. Right. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck happened to happen all our award shows? Done. Is, is, are they even still doing the hip hop awards? Yeah, but ain't nobody checking in because they don't. That's that, that that's that's not good enough for them. They want some bougie shit. They want to put that's on the a show. Fact. That's I a fact. That's a fact. If you don't put but that shit like, on, look, take your look, black ass like, to right, and go rap like, in yo, that fuck cyber. It. All right, bet. We pro- all right. Let's say we progress. We here now. We at this high level with the world. You know what I'm saying? Because right, you could call it mm-hmm. white man approval, whatever. Yeah. But it's where the world is tuned yeah. into at the yeah. end of the day. So it's like, yo, fam. Give that's, us the respect we deserve. That's not some artist shit, though. Yeah, but they I can't we, do that. I thought we was artists. I, I don't, I, like, if the conversation we, we was just we, had earlier. So we are, so niggas, do niggas want to be artists? Do they want to be entertainers? Do they want to be superstars? Like, be all that. Like, that's all I that. think niggas because just. Because at the end of the day, you can, but you can't. Because hip-hop is that. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah. We Why can't, do? we can't. Because it has everything. Hold on, hold on. 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 Don't every no nothing has everything in it but hip hop, right? But we could but that's disrespectful to Michael Jackson, disrespectful to Prince, no, disrespectful to Jay Z. I'm gonna tell you, but they had everything. So how did they not have what, what didn't they have? No, because look, tr- tell someone say, no, someone will say Charlie Parker had, had everything. Tell me what you Prince didn't have, but then we could talk about what hip hop had that Prince didn't have. Prince had the movies before Get Richard Die Trying. Prince had the bitches before. That's LL a different Cole comparison Jack. though. You say you say hip hop have everything. What I'm saying is Yeah, it has Prince in it. Explain, because they sample Prince? No, I'm saying like hip hop has everything that happened in history of everything. Because it's the last, it's the last thing. That's right. But what, but what I'm That's saying, all I'm saying. But, but what That's I'm saying. No, 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 not because of that. And I, I could explain that one for mm, you. I'm asking you. Yeah. You're a little, you're a little younger. See, if you do, if you like go back mm-hmm. in those times, like in the '80s, most mm-hmm. of us was 12, mm-hmm. 10, like from people in my era, and I, from 10 to mm-hmm. 10 to younger teens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you go into school. Mm-hmm. TV is all white, mm-hmm. school's all white, history books is all white, mm-hmm. everything you hear, it mm-hmm. goes back, refers it back, exactly back to what you said earlier. Yeah. Hip hop became our way of self knowledge, our own culture. Mm-hmm. So I know anywhere I'm at in the world, I don't fit in mm-hmm. anywhere besides hip hop. So now we have some, we have a language, mm-hmm. we have a look, we Definitely. have a code. We have, a, we have a way of understanding each other that everybody in, like y'all from a different, and I yeah. get it, cause you born yeah. in it, yeah. y'all born in the computer age yeah. where everything's yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't yeah. have yeah. screens. Yeah. Yeah. But look, we didn't have screens. I had to go to my friend's yeah. house and knock on his door yeah. or call him from the window. Yeah. Yeah. You had to bang on the hood or the car. That's 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 first. That's 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 then you gotta yeah. get to the build. Before you even get to the yeah. mic, you gotta be nice on the hood. Mm-hmm. You gotta have the whole block stamp you before you get to the next step. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then it's a next step. Yeah. Then it's a next step. So mm-hmm. the whole everything no, was. I, 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 he I, don't even I a white boy that. from across town yeah. can't don't know shit about me. He can't like I could talk to my man on the bus about some shit. Until he has no deal. fucking idea what we're talking about. Yeah, sure yeah. If he don't like me, like you know what I'm saying, we can have a coded. Conversation mm-hmm. yeah. or some shit he don't even know. Yeah, for sure. Because I don't fit look, in there when I'm look, born there. To what you say now, 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 what what now yeah. is dumb saying people agree. love y'all. That's the difference. Mm-hmm. That's, a fact. That's the difference. Like, you don't have to go now when you go to Starbucks, when you walk in, fucking Vince Staples, I love you. Like, yeah. even in my latter <laughs> years of the thing, <laughs> oh shit, stop. My shows are white boys. Yeah. They love yeah. me. Yeah. I love white Same. people. Yeah. I love white rock. <laughs> I love your white people. I'm, 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 shit. I'm, I'm not taking But my, it's a but different I, but I'm not thing. Y'all didn't take, have that. Like, you didn't have the whole world like, holy shit. Like, you would literally, you and him, or go somewhere, mm-hmm. y'all don't fit in. 
Fuck them not liking y'all. Y'all don't even fit in. It's a fact. Nowhere. Like, nowhere. So now all you got is. Like when you're in first class. We got this public enemy shit. Yeah, like, so, so we got like, this thing. Right, we right, can right, talk right, about right, this. Listen, they don't know what the fuck in. we talking what about. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is that's fair. But like I said, it's something constant. Because that's something you got when Ray Charles is inventing music in a certain essay. You got that when you got that when Prince is inventing stuff. You got that when the Temptations and and, and and the Supremes and all these people are singing on the corners and doing talent shows. It's something that has been constant. What I'm saying is, is I, I, I won't sit here and say that that we have it the most complete and the best ideology ever, because that's just not true. Because at the end of the day, them niggas, them niggas all knew they, they all knew their notes, right. they all knew their keys, they all knew an instrument. You got niggas that can't even count bars right now. For sure, Look, man. Well, that's you for know sure. Hold on, hold on. Let me give you one other. Yeah, you know why though? Yeah, that's sure. a fucking fuck. fact. But you know why though? You know why? You know why though? Because look, they've infiltrated this culture, mm -hmm. and they've tailor made it to be. The way that they want it to be, because they want to keep us in this place, and you know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm mm -hmm. talking about black people, because this is a black issue. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like everything of what you're saying, right? From where it came from, like you can have mm -hmm. that conversation and mm -hmm. be a decoded message and, 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 and all that shit. Now, where is that today? Is like, fam, they've infiltrated it. You know what I'm saying? They've, 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 they've broken it down. They made sure only certain things get to the front line. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's it's all of that. All of this shit plays a so plays you know a so so now nah, I'm I'm gonna cut you off real quick now nah, just real quick. I can't count bars. Yeah. What? I, I ain't never heard no Tupac album in my life. So you don't know what six killing is. This guy's killing. Holy shit! Because he's from Baltimore. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the truth. I'm being honest. That's a fact. It's, it's, it's that's a fact. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just laughing. So it's like, and I ain't never heard that. Ain't never heard no Nas. Ain't never. I didn't hear. I never. You heard I, that doggy style. I, uh, I heard doggy style when I start rapping. I ain't gonna lie, I, ain't, I still yeah. ain't never heard those. For, the first new word? For real? The, the, the Yo, y'all fucking uh, kidding me. I mean, I, heard the, I know the hits. Y'all kidding me. I know the hits. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. I think I know more than I'm saying. This is crazy. No, that's what I'm warning you. I, 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 I never heard the original Chronic. What? I ain't never heard it all the way through. Never. I heard something. I, I ain't never, never heard 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 it all the way through either. I, I ain't never heard it. You want to you keep I'm going since you start naming shit? I ain't never heard no Souls of Mischief. Ain't ain't never heard see, the far side. Ain't never this heard is no where damn. See, see this way. This ain't a hip hop thing. No, but yeah. <laughs> my next know, statement to y'all yeah. is not a hip hop thing. Yeah. yeah. My next statement to y'all is a music thing. Exactly. Yeah. Music is timeless. Yeah. Great music is timeless. Mm -hmm. Great music is like a fucking capsule. It doesn't matter if it's from your. It, it's, I listen to James Brown and Marvin Gaye all the time. They're not from my time. Yeah. If you ask me my favorite shit to listen to, honestly, it'd be Marvin Gaye. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Right. It's not a like that shit. You as an artist, mm -hmm. you as an MC, you gotta go back. You and as a study, person, yeah. Yeah. fuck as a fuck, fuck artistry. Yeah, let's take the artistry yeah. out of it. You as a person mm -hmm. could grow yeah. from listening to old music. Definitely. Like you know what I'm saying? That's that's. Uh, I'm talking about your soul, no, your, you're spirit, sure. no, you're right, you're right. your spirit, your right. spirit. It's like channeling your ancestors. Let me say this real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me say this real quick. It's like channeling your ancestors. Let me say this real quick. Because it's been officially 47 minutes. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But I think we need more time, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. think, I, think, I think we into this yeah, shit. Yeah, I agree. I don't want to stop this combo. Let's keep going. That's, that's, that's all no, I'm yeah. saying. What, what I'm yeah. saying is like, it's like this. So I said this. Cool. I said that to say this. <laughs> like you said, a motherfucker be like, oh, you a nigga that uh, bars and all these other things. But you never know who going to get what from what. Because I promise you, on, man, I, I done bought probably, I bought two CDs and stole one my whole life. I right, college drop out for Christmas. I stole the car to three, and I had doggy style because I, I stole it from graduation. VIP. That was my first That's album it. I bought. That's it. But what I'm going to say is at the end of the day, the certain niggas can pick up that paintbrush. Mm -hmm. You feel me? No matter what they know or what they don't know. Mm -hmm. It's like graffiti. These motherfuckers ain't, ain't, ain't study classic art. And these motherfuckers don't understand art history and all, the, all these different things. But at the end of the day, you can't tell them that they don't know what they're doing. That's a fact. But, I agree with that. Because like, you definitely know what y'all yeah, yeah, definitely. Exactly. definitely. I, 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 as a testament, I tell you, y'all yeah. definitely know what y'all doing as MCs. Yeah. Definitely. But more than an MC thing, it becomes. No, you're right. As an MC, you want to be a better human. Yeah. You want to have a better understanding. I mean, I went back, but I'm saying as far as, as far as when I was a kid, that, that wasn't my well, my ballpark. I was a yeah. Other I bullshit. get it. But what I'm saying is, is that when it come down to the music and things like that, if the if the focus was put more on the music, then that'll be more of a thing. What I'm saying is, I can't really fault nobody because they whole focus on getting attention and getting money. And it's like when you look at a lot of these dudes, not to like 
make fun of nobody, but you can tell who wasn't nobody in school, who wasn't nobody before they start making the music. Especially so with they, the police. So they catching up, they <laughs> catching up late. Like, nigga just be doing goofy shit, and I be like, damn, cuz, like, you gonna catch your elbow fucking with these people. Like, you never getting out, but it's because they trying to catch up. Like, Agreed. and that's a lot of things that fucked up a lot of early West Coast motherfuckers. When we talk about rappers from the West Coast, ain't none of these niggas from California. The majority of them ain't from California. Niggas was moving from there 17, 18, 19, 20 years old and fucking around and letting a nigga run their pockets. And that's why the niggas end up dead in another type of situation. It's because motherfuckers is trying too hard to cling on to something instead of clinging on to the music, instead of clinging on to the things around them. You know what I mean? That's, that's good for me. I think it's more of an issue of it's the right lessons not being, not being taught. Because I really honestly feel like if a lot of motherfuckers like, hey man, the focus is on the music that you're making. Yeah. Niggas won't be showing their money on, on Instagram and True all this other stuff. Yeah. That's just what they feel like is going to get them solidified in where we at today. And you can't tell them they wrong. And that's the fucking See, like, part everything it. you saying is super hip hop. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? Like, so I'm, I'm just being yeah, G no, with I you. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, super yeah. hip hop. Yeah. That's the purpose of hip hop. Mm -hmm. For somebody to say, none of that shit don't really matter. That shit don't count. Like, and you and you wasn't dope when you was a kid, and you yeah. you yeah. luck you ha, you should be lucky to be on. Like yeah. that's that's what that's what the embodiment of hip hop is. Like to go, that shit don't matter, though. Like who give a fuck about how much bread you got? Yeah. I mean, that's good for your family. Yeah, but like and your your personal business, business yeah. exactly. and all that because that's the one thing in hip hop, and I think that's where history gets lost mm -hmm. because and I blame that on my generation more so <laughs> than anything to be honest because. We like the kind of first ones to really start seeing money, money. Yeah. So it's kind of like, wah, ah, like, you know what I mean? You getting big budgets, you Hell getting yeah. big yeah. videos. Hell yeah. And you, you coming from a strip selling drugs. You coming from mm -hmm. getting a GED. You coming from high school. You coming from selling dope. You coming from, you know, mm -hmm. different shit. So it's kind of like, we, we was new to the money. And mm -hmm. then it became like, who has more money? Right. And it's a nat, like rap is kind of like a na 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 sport. Like, yeah. I got more than you. I have more than you, and that's the difference. Why, what makes it not hip hop? Mm -hmm. That's what's not hip hop, like, because hip hop is the elevation of us all. Like, hip hop is sitting here Absolutely. building, yeah. like mm -hmm. saying, "Okay, exactly. here, here's my thoughts, here's your thoughts, that go here's back where to that, our thoughts, that go back to here's what you're saying, at, what I can learn off you." Like, because I'm not gonna come yeah. around but look, and go, but, look, but that go back to what you're saying as far as rap being the place for the music and hip hop yeah, being yeah. the place for the other stuff. I mean, exactly. for the greater vision, you know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. I think that, I mean, I, I think we should still have little subgenres and shit like I know. agree on that, but it's still like, it exists. No, once you so do that, that, it exists. It, it exists. So like, niggas not? be like, yo, yeah. rap on a trap beat, Joey. I want to hear you on some trap beat. But why can't you? No, 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 I could. I know I, you I could. Have. No, no, so this one. I know he, when he's saying this, that's all rap. Because yeah. if you talk about punk, rock, punk, metal, that's all still rock music. It's what still all rock. Still rap. Right. And that's, that's what the one thing we not holding no, no, hip hop. No, no, I agree. Like, because I, I think agree. all that shit fits in the rap. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, even on our day, there was mad shit that we didn't go to school. Like, like when I was coming up as a teen, and the thing, it was like, like who you could go to school and say, said that shit. Like, so it'd be me, me, like, take for instance, she loved Kane. I love Kane too, but he loved Kane more than me. I love Cool G more than him. Yeah. So now we hit, sitting here the doing bank. Clash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool uh -huh. G said this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's like, Kane said this. <laughs> like, we literally, this is for, yeah. this is going on. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where all your homies on the yeah, thing. But now, so but, that but kind of makes. You know what's crazy though That's about you saying But there was shit we it's didn't less say. Of, it's less about that now. It's less yeah, about but that. nah. It, no, it's, it's really, not. I think, really I think, no, it's not. It's, no, it's not. Nah, because even not back then, that. I think what? that's what old heads make. Nobody seem. cares about what the fuck he said. But there was so if much whack rap true, back no, then no, too. Not Niggas not caring about what the fuck he said. Yeah, why is Kendrick the biggest rapper? Okay, listen. I could tell you that. That's a whole. You want me to tell you that as an old head? That's a whole different conversation. I could tell you that as an old head. Now look, you may be young. Y'all might not see it. I see it a little different. Kendrick, J. Cole, Joey, yourself. Few other MCs mm -hmm. are important to the kids because they don't understand they need balance. Mm -hmm. You might not be conscious of Absolutely. you needing balance, Agree yeah. but with you that. need balance. Agree so with you that. Saturated with but he's also yeah. the biggest <laughs> rapper. Hold up. Yeah. But he's also the bah, biggest, bah, bah. best rapper because it's publicized that way. Yeah. That's what's being pushed onto the masses. But you can ask the kids and shit at the lunch tables, oh, like, what's Kendrick's favorite bar on the album? They're just gonna tell you their favorite song. Yeah. They don't really care Maybe about that Maybe shit, bro. I, everybody I, I, else is validating I, I the fact. Saying. No, I, I, he's I, publicized, yeah. but he's different. Yeah, but no, but I get what you're saying. He's but in I, a different I get market. what you're saying, but what I'm saying is, 
We can be as mad as we want. Ain't nobody ever gonna say one nah, of them niggas. Mad. No, no, no. Nah. I, you see no, the I, print? No, no, no. no, no, no you know what, I'm <laughs> what I'm saying, I'm saying, not you. Say like people yeah, yeah. can be as upset about the about the climate as they want, but it ain't never gonna be a point in time to where one of them niggas is considered to be the best rapper. Think about how crazy of a run this nigga Future went on for them however many years. And he still ain't considered the best Motherfuckers wasn't rapper. saying he was the best rapper. So what the fuck is we talking about? I mean, and he wasn't selling. There's this argument <laughs> about him being the biggest rapper though. And he, and, he, and he wasn't though. So he wasn't. But, 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 but what I'm saying, yeah, if yeah. we say biggest, he wasn't selling the most. At that, let me ask you a question. Yeah. You're exactly right. This yeah. is true. Have yeah. you ever, ever in your personal mm -hmm. life? I love Future. I love yeah. some. Not all this music. Yeah. The songs I love, I love. Mm -hmm. the songs I don't, I don't. That's what even myself. Mm -hmm. So at everybody, have you ever called Future MC? <laughs> Have you ever called Future an I, MC? I honestly ain't never called nobody, nobody an MC. I know he's not saying that. I know. Who's asking me? Yo, he's fucking crazy. I ain't gonna say that. That shit don't exist like where How I come from. How long exist to you? Niggas no, no, ain't saying MC, saying. bro. Like, in this generation. So, 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 no, no, in this generation. Yo, you gotta understand. So, wait, now, I'm gonna ask if you meet me. No no disrespect. So, when me and you shake hands, I go, hey, it's a pleasure to meet you. Definitely. And you and somebody who totally. Just raps, does it rhyme? Meets you. Everybody's in the same category to you. No, no. what I'm not, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is just far, as, as far as so what I'm saying, the verbiage is important. Cause we start, we start sexting. Of course, some niggas are better Absolutely. than others. But I'm not saying who's this and who's not. If a, fuck all no, that, no. if you can't rhyme, yeah, no, 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 but elite, listen, you're no, not an MC. This, so, no, this is what I'm saying. Niggas, look, that's look, that's look, where look, that goes. That's, that's, that's it. Let me, let me just. That's, that's where that goes. We're gonna break it down from our generation though. What I'm saying, what I'm saying, niggas meet Styles P in the street. They're like, oh yeah, I just met old school rapper Styles P. Like, oh, that's not rapper. even true. That's They're supposed true. to be. No, 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 no. It I is got true. a 19 year old son. Yeah, but listen, right no, there. No. all I'm trying to say, yeah. all I'm trying How to say, I'm not the OG. That's a fact. But all I'm trying to say is, look, niggas ain't like MC. It's like what he's saying about the verb. Exactly. That's what we say. That's our point. What I'm saying, bro, is like, where I come from, like, the best, the biggest thing you can be is your name. If it, we come from where niggas make up their names, you know what I'm saying? Niggas got names they make up. It's some hip hop shit, but everybody got one. Yeah. You gotta, if you like, where I come from, if you wanna call yourself killer, you gotta earn it or nigga, you your first name. Yeah. So what I'm saying is the best you can get is like, if your name is Styles P, it's like, it's like, it's like Kendrick Lamar. For niggas in California to call that nigga Kendrick Lamar, that's a win. Cause that was not that nigga name before we start rapping. That's a fact. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's covered. Schoolboy Q. That nigga name was not that before he was rapping. He had another name because it meant some other shit. So you gotta earn that name. You know what I'm saying? So the, it, ain't, it ain't really about calling niggas. If a nigga say he blah blah blah, like when niggas say, oh he the best rapper, this that that, you gonna ignore that nigga because a nigga can be at the park all day and say any who, but you not in the league, my nigga. No, no, so no. it should not take that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, now, look. hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to segue into some more other shit because mm -hmm. truth is we could talk about hip hop till all midnight. Day. You Forever. know what I'm saying? Forever. Like, let's talk about some whole other shit. Let's mm -hmm. take it to a whole different realm and shit, right? Mm -hmm. Spirituality or religion, and why? I never pay attention to neither. Damn, this guy right here. No, cause no. Nah, <laughs> my, my grand, my grandpa, my grandpa, my granddad. Holy crazy. shit! Who is this guy? Forty-seven <laughs> overtime. Nah. You heard? My, my grand, my grandparents from Haiti. So when they came out here, they was telling my mom, "Y'all, y'all can do what y'all want." <laughs> And my mom and I was like, y'all can do what y'all want. Yeah, yeah. So it ain't like, I went to church. I'm the Optimum Christian Academy in Compton on Long Beach Boulevard that's and Palmer. That's funny, though. That's crazy, but though, because like, like, my, mama well, my grandparents like, came over here. Yeah, I mean, you see some niggas go. You know they go somewhere. But I ain't never, <laughs> I ain't never, like, I never really, <laughs> I never, I never, I never really. They don't just go in the grave, cuz? Oh, I mean, no, no, no. I mean, this guy is crazy. I'm, like, I'm, glad, I'm glad to meet you, man. You're super interested. You're super interested in person. You're, you're a cool dude. Man. It's just like you know something there, but it's like I always looked at it like this. I ain't never want to pay attention to that shit because yeah. I know whatever was right and whatever was wrong, no matter who was picking the right and wrong, I was on the wrong. So I'm not really trying to deal with that nigga right now. It was the whole way I was dealing with that shit. But I just got older, bro, and like. That shit real locational, cause I look at my mom, my grandma and them, and they really be on some nigga, you talking about some Jesus shit that don't exist where we come from. But my mom and my dad, they go to the pen and they on they 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 black, they black jail Muslim shit I and then they see. Christian shit. So it's like, I ain't really never uh, spirituality make more sense to me because religion is so fucked up. Cause if you're from a small yeah. village in a specific place, do you just go to hell? Cause you ain't heard about the, the right. one specific exactly. person you're supposed exactly. to hear about. Yeah. So I don't know. Agree. What you think, Styles? Well, me spirituality all the way. Yeah, Say absolutely. Spirituality all the way. I, I feel like a, um, you don't know what no man sees when he closes his eyes and goes to sleep. Right. And his personal trials and tribulation and what he goes through. I had a you know, firm belief in higher power. 
Yeah. There's definitely something bigger than us out there. There's the way the world's designed, the way the human body's designed, the yeah. way the blood flows, just the way your body goes to a certain, Shit, certain temperature, the way the stars align. Mm -hmm. yeah. That had to be created by something bigger than us. All right, so look. I don't believe in religion. Are aliens real, though? Definitely. Think so? That, why would I not? That's some ego yeah. shit to think you the only motherfucker walk around this I, place. I, I, definitely, I, think, I, think it's, I think it's slow to think. That, not to disrespect nobody yeah, yeah, yeah. mentally. Not sure. But I think it's kind of like you, you on... You went first gear yeah. if you think there's no. But let, let me ask you, I hate to get all the weird shit, but you know the jellyfish, the only animal that's not traced back to Earth. Yep. I just want you to know that's some weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's some weird shit. That is some weird that's shit. Some though. Weird shit. That is some weird shit. I actually believe. I'm glad you said because I actually believe there's a lot of undiscovered fucking species in the ocean. Like 100%. when you go down in the abyss, like I know, think we, we haven't. No, been our down concept there. of space is that way. That way. Under the water. Mm. You feel me? I feel that All too. All right, so since we're saying this shit. Yeah, yeah. Flat Earth or Globe Earth? Flat or Globe. Are you serious? Yeah, we dead serious. Dead serious. We dead. We're not flat earthers, though. It's definitely not flat. This how this it's, it's so simple. This is how you know the earth not flat. We're gonna we gonna get on some shit that everybody in here can afford. <laughs> <laughs> go to go to the Nobu and Malibu, right? Ah, yeah. You can see Long Beach. You can see Catalina Island from Nobu and, and, and Long Beach is right here, and uh and Malibu is right here. Yeah. It's no way you will be able to see some shit that go like that if everything go like that. Make sure you get the rock shrimp and you get the yellowtail sashimi <laughs> and go look at Catalina Island and look at East Long Beach. Now, so, so you're saying it's glow? Yeah, it's got glow. it. Or yeah, maybe like a box or some shit. You know what I'm saying? When you, you know look out there, everything else is round. The sun's round. The but, moon's round. But in, okay, flat fact. There's no flats. There's no, no way, flat, like, flat fact. They you think it's Long round. Beach from Malibu. They think it's round. Flat facts. Flat facts. They think it's round. It's just not a. It's just not a globe. You understand what I'm saying? I know what it looked like when you look at it. No, but the there. moon looked like that too, though. It's just a circle. You feel me? So why is it a circle if it's flat? It's a flat circle. You telling me? What if it's on a flat? If it's a flat what, circle, it's a, it's still I'm just round. saying. What if it's on a flat image? Even if it's look, a flat I circle, want you, it's still I, want around. Around. I want you to go to Nobu and Malibu. Like <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> Six thirty. We all gonna go. Let's, Let's go. go. We're gonna, no, we're gonna go. go. That's gonna be the PM, follow up. And I'm gonna show y'all the Long Beach courthouse. Once the sun go down, you can see that motherfucker, and it's fifty miles away. Like, not even a straight shot, and you can see the and motherfucker. you say you can see it because it's a globe. I just figured this out. I was over there the other day, and I was like, somebody was like, that's Catalina. I'm like, nah, that's by Long Beach, and we 50 miles from home. And then we asked later at work, they said, yeah, that's Catalina, that's Long Beach, and that's Torrance. And I was like, that shit crazy. You seen curvature and all that? It's yeah. just the fact that it's not it's not a straight shot, but you can directly see it. Yeah. So it got to be some weird shit going on where it ain't, a, it ain't that, flat. But if you can see it, that would yeah. mean it's flat to yeah, me. That is, no, that's because right. you looking this way. You know what I'm saying? So look. If you pull up map of California, Malibu is right here. Long Beach is right here. Mm. You can see it right here. You get what I'm saying? When the sun drop, you see like some shit that's not directly in front of you, and it don't make no fucking sense. I didn't believe him until I started, you know, doing my Google. <laughs> no, no, no. All I'm gonna say, all I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm team or Earth. Or, you say flat or, or globe? I'm, I'm or, because I just like to keep my mind open. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm open to, to both sides. The only thing I would say is. If it was flat, why would they be telling us it's round? That's the thing that's like the most intriguing about that conversation to me. Why would they be telling us? This is what I'm round? on, bro. You can get the Tesla panels and put them on your house, right? Yeah. Or you can get the Tesla charger on the side of your wall yeah, yeah. and you can charge your car for free and we get rid of I the mean, fossil fuel, zero emission type indeed. shit. That's a fact. And, we and Tesla about thought the it was a round. We didn't thought it was a globe or flat. Look, bro, but I'm what the I, nigga who created that what shit. I'm, he's the one that said the it. The nigga who created that shit name is Elon, and I'm finna order me one. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> cut your power bill in half, cut your, what's it called, carbon footprint oh, yeah. in half. Oh, for sure. And that shit drive itself, bro. You know Facts. what I mean? So, nah, you know, I'm, I'm just letting you know that. that. You were talking about the some new bullshit. joint coming out. The roaster like and the three. The roaster, yes. Look, bro, you cop I'm, the, I'm you cop the three and the roaster, my nigga. I'm thinking about it because you know I do want a new whip. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just saying, get rid of that gas tank, bro. You yeah, wildin'. Yeah, nah, yeah, get rid of that real. gas tank. That's real. Yeah, yeah, what you yeah. need yeah. that for? No, that's, that's a fact. Real. I just charged my shit up at it's the part crib. Of the scam. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. The gas tank. <laughs> the gas tank is crazy. <laughs> yeah, gas is part <laughs> of the scam. Yeah. But yo, I say, man, yo, gentlemen, thank you for the time. Love is love. Appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? This is officially 47 minutes overtime right now. <laughs> but yeah, man, appreciate <laughs> you, Styles. Appreciate you, Vince. Love is love. You know what I'm saying? Always. Love is love. Always. Man, man.
Yes, sir. Love is love. Right. Peace, King. Right. Good to meet you. You know what I mean? This is a great You want to listen to them, some of them albums, though? Nah, Corey made me listen to Blue Mind State. I, I, I got a list. I just got, ain't got Fuck that Fuck on that. When we, when we go on to Nobu and Malibu, yeah. let me know that's what back. I want to let me know. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to let you know. That's what we need to do. I need to see that shit for myself. Wow. Hell yeah. And be like, yo, I should look flat, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Nah, yo, appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. Real talk, yeah. man. Love it, love. That shit was a really good combo. Niggas did hip hop the whole 47. Woo! Though. That shit kept going. It's <laughs> a long ass conversation. That's a fact. That's a fact. We, we would have still been yeah, talking about that shit. Though. Old heads, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah not for real. One day. What I'm yeah, saying, what I'm saying, what I'm that saying, bro, is it's funny. I was in, I was in the niggas just focused on the wrong thing because I was in the studio with Damon then. And Dame was like, damn, Steve Bartle's still the head of Def Jam. He was there when we was there. Can't no rapper keep their job for 30 years. Nah, that's a fact. I always say that shit. Niggas could, niggas could stop rapping and the label's still going to be a label. It's the same five motherfuckers. You know why the rapper can't Niggas' career can end. Because you got to be able to, you, you as the rappers, but you know, I feel, as I the feel future, like, I feel like that should be your be job, though. Who, Hell no, you it. I ain't in. No, 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 no. We're saying, saying the exact same. I'm saying, are you talking about Steve Ball? Like, yeah. I feel like that should be your job. Facts. I feel like that. Who know the shit more like, than you? Who should like know the shit better than you? Know they got to be, you know they got to be a whole new right. shit to where that ain't the same job. See, but that's I'm, where yeah, the time got to come. That's got to come in and where say, fuck that structure. Yeah. Invent a new structure. Yeah. And that's that's what that's what that's what make the most sense because if it's a structure to where you. Are because the thing is until a motherfucker get to the point to where they are making enough noise to where you feel like the people feel like the things they say and affect people you're not gonna have you're not gonna have the opportunity to interact with them yeah. if it was a structure to where you got you or you got you got a snoop you got these people who've been around for minutes Scarface is able to kind of have the system where they got their own in or they got their own funding yeah. system where people be able to, to control to tell then them you can get shit. to them faster yeah, and then yeah. the song that they have that's gonna impact they already have whatever you're trying to tell them in their head it's just you're not running into nobody until after you don't have four or five means with them people and everybody know what them people is like ain't even a race thing them people is them people over there that's running yeah. Show, you so. see, yeah. you see what the difference is. See how you said earlier, who was hot last year, the mm -hmm. two years before, mm -hmm. the three years before. That couldn't happen in my era. Like you know what I'm saying? That that wasn't flying. Like you, no. if you there, you, you make it away, and mm -hmm. you there. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. They can't. It's like a system now, and and the system goes by because they make they make everybody think this is what I got to do. Yeah, to on, make man. it, like you know yeah, what I mean. It's exactly like, what you said. I feel like I'm it's not making like, this. I feel like it's still that if way. I'm not yeah, making it this music. Yeah, yeah, it's still like that. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. If I'm not making this music, if I'm not making it like this, then it's not gonna work. And that's yeah. where everybody, because like I sit back and Chantal, I be like, yo, how is he cool with him? He just stole his whole cadence. Yeah. Like they in the yeah. club taking because a picture. Because no, because I'm I, I, back in the day, someone's getting like, yeah, oh, it's in their face over that. Like showing up in the club. At the end of the day, it's like, oh man, let's make this money, my boy. Yeah, oh, but you, if we're going to do that, we're going to do that together Sometimes, on the show. But that's I mean, that's just a bunch of things. That's like kills the culture. But, but, I'm, I'm, but I'm, telling you, I'm telling you is it exists to certain people, but what they telling them is, oh, man, it's like they play the happy to be here role. It's one thing I never really understood, and it bothered me all the time, is when a nigga tell you, like, you should be grateful to them for you being that nigga. It's like at the end of the day, when you go to when you go to church, the pastor don't be like, man, I'm really glad that y'all came. I appreciate y'all. Y'all keep me going. Nah, he got a purpose. And you know his purpose put him there. And hip, and hip hop, they say that because I'm gonna tell you why. Yeah. I think translate this where the gap yeah. lies again. Mm. Because in everything else, as mm. brown people, yeah. like you know what I'm saying, you always gotta pay homage to pay pave the way. That's not what I'm talking about. That's, I'm talking. Yeah. I, we need to be thankful to you. We don't need to be thankful. No, to I got to be fucking. thankful to you. We got to be thankful to each other. That's the what I'm saying. That, 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 yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, that's, no, no, no. Like, no, no, it can't be on. like, yo, I'm old. I paved the way for you. No, 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 no. Like, yo, no, you better no, take, take me. me. No, no, no. Like, it's like, I did that. <laughs> Absolutely. But y'all coming hold behind yeah, me. No, hold on, hold on. Shit hold on, hold on. Thank you. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You misunderstand me. What I'm saying is, when you look, when you look at it, a lot of the times the music is dictated by the consumer. You feel me? Because they feel like they lushing out money, and the motherfuckers like, oh, you need to do this, you need this, so you need to be grateful. Oh, this nigga don't want to make this kind of music no more. Nigga forgot where it came from. True, blah blah. Yeah. Instead of inst instead of it being a sense of camaraderie between the people that's that creating. So at the end, that's what I'm saying. Is at the end that's of the day, fact. motherfuckers build up this. Oh, I'm just happy to be here attitude True, because yeah. it's so For, easy to leave instead of being instead of being a unit because a motherfucker wouldn't be able money. to still yeah, live at all. Right. If they he focus the craft is not the focus. The craft is not the about the money. Exactly. And they, it's yeah. like, nigga, yeah. like a motherfucker be like, like, I had this shit to work. Nigga, I, for real shit, well, I was in Denver, I almost died on stage. 
and then uh, Corey oh, had yeah. tweeted from my shit and be like, the yeah, from, right? from the suite, from, it's from smoking and shit. And, yeah. and, it, and it was the first time playing me in the video. It was like 50 out of 2,000, everybody smoking. Corey tweeted from my shit, please don't smoke. Oh, this nigga ungrateful. We need to be happy. We there. Like, really? Because I thought <laughs> I was the nigga that make the shit that yeah, made yeah, you yeah. want to come. Mm. And it's the whole thing is motherfuckers got, they feel like they so disposable that it's like, oh, he took the flow. Oh, but maybe somebody might like my flow too because we all good. We here, we yeah. fighting the same battle because motherfuckers is fighting time in they head because they seeing they're going to be gone next year. Yo, was it you who said that shit about um, trauma cells? Oh, yeah, man. It was, was right? That. Break bro, that down one time. Bro, I can make 50 songs. I'm still going to be the gangbanger nigga from Long Beach. I can, yeah. I, can give a, I can give a million dollars to, to the kids. I, I, I give money to the kids. That's bro. untrue. I, no, no, but I, I That's listen. That's untrue. No, listen, listen, listen. I get what you're saying. It should be untrue. That's untrue. But what, I, but what I'm saying, what I'm, what I'm saying is, no, it's true to a sense. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, you don't. Yeah, 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 you're no. right. You're yeah, right. No, it's I'm, true to a I'm, sense. No, I'm, I'm only speaking from what I know. I'm not speaking yeah. from what make the most sense because most of the time what we know don't make no sense. What I'm saying is, at the end of the day, if like, like the flat, the, the, yeah. So, so I can say, <laughs> say, I get, say I give however much money I gave. It, 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 it was high five figs. To the YMCA, blah blah. It's niggas, and I put it on the east side because we can feel on the north side because it wasn't where to put it. It's niggas that we was getting into. We was kids that was nobody. It's like, oh man, fuck that nigga, cause he's just trying to do this because he gonna get a write off and it with that. It ain't true. But you can get this and you can get that and you can get that. Fuck that nigga. That nigga from Nachos. It's like so I could put a mute. I could put a song out and and, and say try to say some positive shit. Yeah. That nigga ain't really like that. I know that nigga. He from Nachos. But you can't. That ain't, that ain't. That ain't. That ain't. That's start, on them. Yeah, but what I'm saying that is that ain't on you. I know. Not at all. I don't give a fuck. Fuck them niggas still. But what I'm saying is I'm, I'm never gonna be over that. What I'm saying is when it come down to it, that is disheartening to an artist sometimes. So motherfuckers try to get in where they fit in yeah. because at the end of the day you can direct to consumer type shit. Yeah. So. A motherfucker can be like a motherfucker gonna feel that lash out and feel like they gotta do certain shit. It's not just with the trauma. It's like when it comes to the drugs and, and 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 alcohol and certain things that we push and push and push and push the violence, things that we push, even when we know better. It's because it's selling and they love it. Because a lot of the times niggas don't want to see that they wrong. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like that's a fact. When nigga favorite, uh, nigga, you know what I mean? It's 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 it's, it's niggas are gonna watch certain movies, listen to certain music, eat certain foods because that's the closest thing to their heart. Is mm-hmm. they don't want to feel uncomfortable. It's a comfort zone thing. Mm-hmm. So. Of course, trauma gonna sell because a lot of people's going through traumatic situations. So that fits within their comfort zone. And a lot of the times, once you leave their comfort zone, they not gonna really fuck with you yeah, as they much, relate. or they, they gonna want you because you want to be able to look at somebody who's doing better than you, that relates to you, to justify yourself not moving forward. That that kind that's like that's why I say I, I partially agree with you. I'm just telling you from age. No, I get what you're saying. I'm no, telling I, you from age. Like I'm, I got the same background. Yeah, yeah. You like it's the same background. So my whole shit was for yeah, a long yeah. time. Styles Peter Gangsta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they know what I did outside. Exactly. How it happened. Won't let it go and they mad that you know you're what doing I mean? what you do now. Yeah. But when you take responsibility and mm-hmm. you you don't let nobody like people gonna think what they're gonna think. Mm-hmm. It's for you to do what you wanna do and just give that energy off. Yeah. Like you can't control what he's gonna think and what he's gonna think. Sure, as long as what you're doing, the yeah. person who gets it, gets it. Yeah. Like I, I live a plant, I don't eat, I don't do nothing but eat plants and I own four juice bars. Mm-hmm. I'm New Yorker's gangster rapper mm-hmm. for, for mm-hmm. decades. Yeah. Like you know what I mean, but mm-hmm. an official mm-hmm. history mm-hmm. to go with mm-hmm. not, they don't want not just that shit like yeah. official. I know, I know exactly what you know what I mean? Exactly. So they like when you take when you can let them. You right. let them right. There was a time I felt just like you, like yo, damn, I was doing shit. I'm making I'm black. Yeah. I'm doing this. They like mm-hmm. all they keep talking about is Styles be the gangster. Styles be the gangster. I'm yeah. like, yo, I told you my whole life. But I'm a know, gentleman too, too, and I'm for the people, but. After I start saying, yo, people are going to say what they want yeah. and do what they want, but energy is a total different thing. That's a yeah, so but no, even but with I, the hood, no, yeah. you know? But see, but it's, it's, it matters to the right people. I wouldn't even say it for me personally. I'm saying I understand why certain people look a certain way because a motherfucker might have a verse or bar or hook where they try some different shit. A motherfucker might put a different kind of hoodie on yeah. and you're going to see people roasting them, roasting them, roasting them yeah. on their bumper. That's the and that's it's, crazy. And a lot, of, a lot of niggas going to buckle. Because the niggas buckle in right. jail. And they broke, and everybody got the same clothes on. So if a nigga gonna buckle in jail, and everybody wearing the same shit, would it come down to really get some money? 
Niggas gonna be on that. It's over with. Yeah. You right on that. So niggas, you know what I'm saying? I feel bad for these kids. Not like on it's some, like not on some. I'm better for them, but it's like. But, it's, but that's my whole thing, pressure. though, bro. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's why this shit is so imbalanced. Cause I feel bad for the kids. They ain't really yeah. but being fed. No, getting back to the point. That you is know what it. I'm saying? I feel bad for the kids that's making the music. I'm not the kid. The kids that's listening. Cause like this, my nephew, eight, nine years old, bro, yeah. and come from me, my sister, my mama, my daddy, real ones, like yeah. certified from from the halls and back, real yeah. ones. He don't give a fuck about none of that shit. He don't want to hear none of that. He don't. He want to play video games, play Straight basketball, up. and listen to Logic. He don't want. He don't care about none of that other stuff. He picked yeah. what he want. He live in Atlanta and on the West Side where all the, he don't. That's but he just don't like it. Yeah. So at the end of that, if you but raise I mean, your, I mean, if you I mean, raise your kid to have a strong mind, though, then they gonna do what that's, they that, want. That's true too. It's but like you know, I've even seen in some cases where it's like, oh yeah, like you know, my dad and my mom they smoke weed, mm-hmm. and because they smoke weed. My whole life as I was growing up, I don't smoke weed because it's just like it's always been there. So, you know, like in that situation, yeah, yeah, I agree with you. But for the ones who's like, you know, trapped in that shit and that shit is around it and not necessarily in their household, Mm -hmm. that shit is getting to them. You Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because that is. What I'm saying is I feel you. I feel you 100 percent. But you can't deny your own access because what I can promise you is these niggas is not playing the size venues that you were playing. Period. We just did 15,000 in San Diego. Easy. Sold out in a second. Niggas ain't doing that. So it don't matter that it... No, no. You know what matters, attention. though, is the, the radio. Because the radio was playing the same thing. I over feel you. And that's the, what most kids... Right. And that's the frequency. Yeah. I can't, cause, cause I can't, go, I can't right. go back I, to your point about what kids, reached you in third grade, though. Ease. That's a Every fact. No, that's, that's a fact. But look, but look, but look, but look. But it's what's being hold broadcast across the hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, right across the city. We living, we living yeah. in like, quote, 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 these kids are the most technical, technologically advanced, it's advanced it's covering the information area. era, the information sure. age. Yeah. But because all of that shit is so access- accessible, it also makes a lot of us so dumb. Right. You know what I mean? We're like the smartest age because the dumbest age. Yeah, at the same time. Yeah, at the same time. So it's the same shit. Yeah, you could say. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's all, it's all, it's all. None of us never heard. That's triple platinum right now. They've been triple platinum for that's two a weeks. fact. But listen, out, that's a fact. But look, Russ, you could say niggas, niggas could go on their phone days, so and listen to whatever they want. Here. It ain't on the radio. But at the same time, why haven't you heard those albums? Because you could do the same definitely, thing. Definitely. What I'm saying. Why I'm saying. What I'm saying is about what's yeah. all subjective. Because what I can say is, if three million people is listening to certain songs from certain artists. I ain't never heard, and I know I don't know none of them niggas. Yeah. I can, honestly can't say I know what's going on. Cause you never know what's going on. There's so much shit going too on. Too much information, and that's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. So yeah. I'm Nobody could know. So what I'm saying, what I'm saying, with seven billion people in the now world, now that's bro. crazy. Yeah. Nah, like for me, that's scary for you to say that with your age. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, but but see, that's like. But like, you know what I'm mean? 24. For I'm me, the old nigga now. That's I'm, crazy. I'm, old nigga. Yeah. I'm the old nigga now. So when it come down to like, if I'm the old yeah, if y'all that young and y'all don't know everything that's out there. That's like makes me feel like almost hopeless. Like, you know what I mean? Because sometimes I say to myself, like, I can't listen to all that shit. That's all. Like, you know, every now and then I get a couple spurs. I bro, you know, bro, you know what's crazy? Yeah. It's like, it's shit, so I much shit going on. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, then it's I did not, I did not like, know. I did not, I didn't know. Nigga. I don't know who the um the one nigga, I don't know who the Takashi nigga was. The homies was, the little homies was chasing him around. And I'm like, who's that? Mess, exactly. But the nigga popping, the nigga platinum is some old shit. Six nine. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. I had no idea who it was. The homies is mad at him. Like, where did you little nigga leave this nigga alone for one and for two? Like, who is he? Like, oh, he rap. I'm like, go to his shit. The nigga popping, and I'm like, it's too much shit going on. But for every for every him, you got you no know, a Davies for every Davies. You got a Joy Badass, for Joy Badass, it's a Kendrick Lamar, J Cole. It's a million niggas out here rapping. Cause you cannot, you can't wait. And it's only like I, I know six somebody else in this room rap. It's only six on the radio, <laughs> but what I'm saying is the six, the six on the radio ain't the ones with that people is talking about right now. I promise you, unless it's Drake or Kendrick, ain't none of these other niggas got names, bro. It's on the internet shit. No, on I feel you on that, but so it's, it's, still, like, it's, it's still the imbalance of, of the music there right Yeah, but what I'm, saying, like what I'm saying is on the radio, different shit is nah, playing you know on the radio on different stuff. You know what you know it is? What's playing on the radio out here is not playing on the radio at home. Niggas is not turning on the radio He gave you the perfect example when he said, who was hot last year? Who was hot year? Like, we didn't come from that. Like, yeah. like, it's like if you love somebody, you love them. Does somebody else come out that you love? You love them, too. It's mm-hmm. not like a, he's hotter than him. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, he's two years later. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's supposed to be. He the new thing. He the new... That don't make the dude who came out two years ago... Trash, honey. Trash or not <laughs> hot. <laughs> now we wait for him to come back to counter what he just said. Yeah. Or what he... But it ain't like that now. It's like <clears> microwave. <throat> you can put it... 
Now right. I put out like 15 freestyles. It was like, yo, when's the next one? I was like, yo, <laughs> yo, fam, this I'm is about crazy, this. dog. I put out like, a I song just... two weeks ago. It's old already. Yeah, it's like, yo, 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 I'm still bumping that, that Joey joint. Like, yeah. yo, it just came, came out two, two weeks, weeks ago. ago. What you mean still? You're not still well, bumping. Right, see, you're see, bumping. But see, at, 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 at the end of the day, it is a lot of shit going on. But I promise you, even if it's even if it's quote unquote old. When you go to that show with 1,500, 2,000 people in a small market for you, that niggas don't understand, they gonna know the words. That's a so fact. do it matter. That's a fact. Do it. That's what's the fact. competition? Right, it's a minute. Like I said, the photographer, oh. the photographer on the New York Times is not worried about the nigga shooting the shit in the frame at Target. He don't know that nigga name. He don't care about why his niggas focused on it. It mm. don't matter. Leave them niggas alone. Let them get their money. And let them really on that like I said, bro, but designer a- was the shit last year, and they 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 clowning cuz now. That's just unfortunate, bro. But at the end of the day, we gave it that attention. Cause half the conversation was he this and he that, and we don't fuck women in this way. If niggas would just left cuz alone, it would have probably been the same path, and he wouldn't have to try to do all this outlandish shit now, whatever he doing now, blah blah blah. Designer, young and may. Um, I, and I'm not pointing out the negative thing because no, what I'm saying sure is they, they, they don't get the fair shake at it because nigga, M- we act like we ain't had an MC Hammer and um, and Vanilla Ice and Marky Mark and like this shit ain't new. It's always been niggas that come do a song and go. That's every come on, bro, sure. that's every genre. But you know they need sure. still. Definitely, what I'm saying. That's the difference. That's yeah. the difference between back mm-hmm. then and now. Like say even yeah, a, no, real shit. a good one hit yeah. wonder, you still gonna say they need. To this day, it's but, still gonna ring in the club less one channels. time or yeah. two. Less, less yeah. channels, because a motherfucker. It's still less channels, but, but, but no. I'm, what I'm saying, you can have a hit on radio. They have a hit. Well, on hit, YouTube. a hit is relative now. Yeah, it's relative to the radio, platform. Hit on yeah. YouTube. It's relative to the it's, platform. Yeah, um, I am so um, say the Jim and I, all these niggas from the Bay. That was it was the only thing on the radio. It's up until a couple years ago, and I promise y'all, y'all ain't heard probably ain't heard none of them songs. When I say it was his, I'm talking triple, double, platinum, mm-hmm. all up and down the coast from um, from 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 Seattle down to Arizona, and y'all ain't heard him. And it's some shit out here that's out there. Ain't nobody else heard. Uh, the Casanova had the um, the uh, you ain't see I had the drop song uh, that he was in the car, I know I and I didn't, I didn't know that until the little homie Tyshawn who skate out here was that's playing it, true. and that shit had millions of views already. It was out for two months, and I heard it six months ago. So it's all relative. You gotta let niggas. You gotta let niggas hoop, bro. If a nigga want to shoot, you want to shoot. No, I feel you. Let a nigga be. They just want to It's enough money for everybody. True indeed. Especially now. Yo, this is a great build, though, man. Great combo. Shit, endless. It's an endless combo. I just want to leave these little niggas alone, cause they just want to rap, bro. They want to rap, they want to... because y'all dumb young going these little niggas. I know. This nah, is that's crazy. crazy. This, this is crazy. crazy. But you got to think. Like, like 24. But look, but look, but look, but look. 24. We the that's older little even, niggas, though. That's, that's not, not even... That's, that's not, not even... even but look, it's a nigga. It's a nigga 10 years younger than us. It's brand new. Yeah, but you know what? He owe y'all. That's the thing about hip-hop. Y'all owe him, too, because he's carrying a torch. Yeah. But that's the thing about hip-hop. Like, that's a foundation set. Like, it's like... Okay, we coming through. It's like it's like like you come from a hood, like yeah. a certain hood, yeah, like exactly. right now. Think mm-hmm. about this. That hood history, I bet you know that. Yeah, but well, I'm talking to you. What's crazy? I bet you know <laughs> that. No, I bet you, you know about you know, three generations you know worth of hood history. You know what's crazy? That gotta no, go like that for crazy. rap if I'm no, working no, 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 and I'm out here. No, no. It's a, my little brother don't. It's a generation thing, and he got 15 years. Don't know nobody. Niggas yeah. got put on it with the jail. It's a generation because everything is moving so fast. It's quick. And, and you, and man, but that's now, a, that's why you gotta uphold history. That's exactly. why. That's why they had all the people, all the tribes, our late ancestors, and all that. They that's had the shit, story. That shit, but you got. Gotta bridge the gap. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. We, now where we at though is like the generational transference or whatever is like. Bullshit. Yeah. Fucking 20 something, this is crazy to me. This is but bro, I'm telling you, bro. bro my mind is really blown. A 15 year old is like, he's old. A 15 year old is like, he's old. My nephew told me I was old before. I'm gonna say, it's like, like, you old. Yeah. But he I get told I'm old all the time. At the end of the day, it's all like, the kids at my shows, younger than me. I'm old. Like, I've been out for five. My career, been, I'm going on my sixth year. See, so found In my career, I'm not. old. Niggas is old now. But see, but dude, it ain't a bad thing because you old and you stable. A lot of that song is on building on stability because everything at all. We just in the '80s again, man. It's a bunch of niggas making the same song. Look that shit up, bro. You got, you got. I was there in the '80s, bro. No, I'm not. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. If you look, if you look, if you look, like yeah, they look that up. Like all them type of shit. I'm gonna look it up though. The niggas had the same 
the same drum pattern on the same BPM and did it for seven years and nobody said nothing. Nobody said nothing. Boy George, all them niggas was making the same song. It's a They it's kinda a, was. Yeah, that's nigga, you know what? All the same same special song. song <laughs> would pop. And then they come out with it. You know what it, the difference was? People appreciated that one special song. No, for real. It meant something to them. You know what I mean? Boy, you yeah. it wasn't like y'all got the privilege of going on the computer and like you say, yeah, it's yeah. so much shit, yeah. you don't even know the shit. If something was popping then, you know the shit because yeah. it's not that much popping. Exactly. So if it's popping, it's fucking popping. And then there's a lot of people with uh -huh. the same sound, but that one special person who come out with that different sound, guess what? They on. Yeah, Michael Jackson. That's their lane. Like, like you know Michael what I'm saying? Jackson, like, you got your Michaels, yeah. you got your Princes, Listen. you got your Whitney's, you got your Hall yeah, of Notes, you got your Boy George, yeah, you got your, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got, you got your Madonna. But it's like, like you know what I'm saying? The, There's a lot of other shit. But the difference is but like, that's the boom. But I noticed. The I know, boom I goes boom and they, they got to be respected. But they, they was letting them niggas. They was just letting them niggas have it. Like when, when the class now, You know why? Because music was the exactly, feeling. Nigga. Exactly. It was the feeling. And you know yeah. what they was all doing? It was a lot of immolation. Come a on, yeah. thousand yeah. percent. Yeah. Yeah. Because if some pop people looked at it like. I seen that Quincy interview. But it was also a lot of originality. It's like, okay. That was the dope thing. That's what made you who you was. Like, everybody's doing this. That one special person that come out doing but something that's what different. I will say. You're going to be, no, see, you're gonna be see, noticed but, for being special. But, but niggas is trying to be original now, but the problem is they doing it the wrong way. Not the wrong way. It's in a way that's not fitting because what it is, is a lot of people's paying attention to vocal inflection and paying attention to like their ad-lib structure, their verse structure, but they not changing. You know? But they not, no, yeah, but what I'm saying is not like these niggas. These, these little niggas is wild. He can tell you these side babies and these guns and these niggas, they doing wild shit. They think they little richer, bro. Yo, all well, they got to do is hold a gun in the video. They lit. That's, see, see what I'm saying? Violent. So it's like all the other shit is easy, but it's also at a point in time to where, like you said, it was all the same production. It's all the same production. Now the only difference is it's less elements to the song. It's only so much these niggas can do. They get the beat. They ain't got. They, 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 it's, it's not. It's not like when motherfuckers going so in. So when you think about when you think about like when you think of, like I'm just taking from y'all yeah. conversation. When y'all think about y'all peers mm -hmm. and y'all think about all of what's going on, like. Like, cause my era, mm -hmm. I was like, fuck it, I'm better than these niggas. Yeah. Like, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, to a point, even if. Yeah, cause contract, yeah. Even, like, anything is, I'm better than them. Yeah. Like, I'm. But it wasn't that saturated. So, dude, with that saturation, you feel like, fuck it, or like, I'm still better but, than these no, niggas. But I'm, I'm better saying, than. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, better yeah. than. Of like, I wouldn't, like, like, you, like, see, like, see how we building yeah. right now? Yeah. Yeah. Like, we might be cool. Like, we, we gonna yeah. get in the studio, though. Like, we're in the studio. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna massage you, I'm gonna massage him. Yeah. I'm gonna go. If this I'm gonna go one, I'm gonna go hard. I'm gonna try to tear y'all up. If this, nigga, like, yeah, up. If this, nigga, uh, so, if this nigga told me he thought I was better than him, I would look at him different. And this is my nigga. I would look at him like he done lost his fucking so, mind. Cause he ain't that type of nigga. With that saying, uh, like, so I, I feel y'all saying. So with that saying, like, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. Like in my day, like with that saying, like it's a certain amount I mean, look, of group I'm, I'm, MCs. I'm gonna speak. Like, I'm speaking from you know my mean? perspective. I know I'm better than these niggas. You know what I'm saying? I just don't necessarily like the fact that they shit is being way more saturated than the type of shit that I deem as like dope. You know what I'm saying? Or tight or I can feel that, but what I'm saying is that's still not true because you still selling more records and you go and you doing more shows. This is true. If a nigga, if bro, it's, a, it's America's Funniest Home Video, nigga, that's not a fucking movie. This is true, movie. but you know what the though? Is you know TV. what though? Streaming is about to change all of that. It really is. Definitely. Streaming is but changing all But you're still going to stream more because them album sales are going to turn to streams. You're still going to stream more. It don't. It, it's no way around I mean, it. I mean, you can't change that. What, what I, I can name a few niggas who streamed more and sold more than me in the last two years. Definitely. Boy. I mean, I'm good. I ain't complaining, no, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, you know, what, 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 what I'm saying just is, to, you know, what I'm saying is when it comes to the come and go, yeah. it don't ever, it don't ever, because they don't, it don't get looked at like that. It's fast food, my nigga. If McDonald's try to charge you $10 for a Big but Mac, you know nobody what? going there. Right? Majority <laughs> of the world eat fast food, <laughs> like though. Yeah. Huh? Majority <laughs> of the world eat fast food, <laughs> exactly. though. Exactly. You right. It is so like fast that, food. But more people eat fast food than niggas is about that juice life. When or you, niggas is about that vegan life. So when y'all create your albums, y'all thinking business wise too, or are you just creating now? Yeah, we definitely. I'm always thinking business wise. Oh, always. We always. business. So man. it's no. It's 2018. We gotta think. Y'all ain't just wise. creating it. Now we doing both. Wait, my right, my, right brain and left this, this, brain. This, this way, I look at my whole brain. I, I know is yeah, that I, you learn from the nigga. Yeah. Give me, yeah. give see me. when I make an album. I like, never made that's I, the I never made an album for more than two weeks, three weeks. Yeah, I never, I've never made an album. I got to get on that one. Well, no, nah, I can't no, say don't. never. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Trust me. I can't I'm say never. Nah, trust me. No, you don't. But I just want to get in the zone and make music, and then when it's done, it's, not about it's done. <laughs> and then I figure the business from there. The way from the jump, y'all. 
Well, it's like like a, a lot of people do that. Old no, school people do it like how y'all do no, it too. No, it's different. No, it's but different. me, I just like that. I just want to smoke, get high, turn the lights out, make the music. It's about what you and want. And then when though. it's then when it's all compiled, and then when it's all done, figure it out the plan. I figure out the plan. I make my now I make, I make music based on whatever show I make. So whatever I want the shit to look like, whatever whatever screens I got, whatever content I got, Damn. I make the music after that to go for what? the show. I done oh, done that the last two three times. Shit. So it's like it's easy. I, mean, so I tour. I don't go home. So it's like so, so it's like it's like it's like if I'm if I'm gonna be on tour for, if I'm gonna be on tour for eight months, mm-hmm. nine months straight, and I go on for a month to figure out what this next tour is gonna be or whatever that's these smart, next shows though. and all that's that. Very smart. Then so say I'm trying to convey that's this certain smart. type of this certain type of feel. Say I want the stage to be black, and I want the stage to have a screen here, a screen here, and I want the pace that's to be why slow. Your stage Damn, be so I'm gonna make I'm gonna I'm gonna make the music like that. Say I want the shit to be say say I want the stage to be white and I want to feel a certain type of way. I'm gonna make the music to feel like that. Because I I like that game plan. That's I, 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 that, that's that, very that's very but see, but I went I went on tour with Schoolboy Q and I was rapping, and it was two things. This thing Frank Ocean said when we was kids, we was we young, and he said cause I was hanging out with his cousin. Tough, that was my homie. Like his cousin used to sell weed, so I would be with his cousin. I'd be kicking with his cousin all that. He said he came and listen to his rap. He's like, oh yeah, you niggas too old to be playing with your words. And I was like, what that mean? And he was like, you too old to be playing with words. Like if you gotta say some shit and you don't know how to just say it, then you're not who you think you are. Mm-hmm. Then I started thinking about Scarface and all these motherfuckers that's really rapping. These niggas ain't really trying to say way too much. I think about you. You wasn't playing with your words. You niggas, JJ, they wasn't playing with his words. Mm-hmm. Niggas was saying something, and you was like, I know what he said. Yeah, that's you feel me? Fact. So then I got over that. I went on tour with Schoolboy Q for uh, the Oxymoron tour. All my shit, 50, 60 BPM. I'm just saying, that's Sean Carl. They too shy. I'm just, I'm just rapping. He was like, nigga, you ain't going to make no money. Ain't nobody going to fuck with you like that. Niggas don't care about nothing you talking about unless you make them care about it. And I was like, what you mean? He said, nigga, every time I go out here and I do these shows, I do hell of a life. I do all this other shit. And niggas is like, oh, that sound like a rave. That's like eating. That's like this. And that's like, like these niggas don't know nothing about music. Schoolboy Q, the most hip hop, random, random banged out LA nigga that you would ever consider to be in hip hop today. So I was like, him and J Rock told me to diversify the kind of music I listen to. Then I want to ask my mama. And my mama said, oh, that's not some gangster shit. That's some fake shit. Because my mama said, all rappers coming out the West Coast when they was younger was nobody. Mm. Unless you're talking like Daddy V, like you got the King T from Texas, Dub C from Ohio, Corrupt from Philly, um, Dash from Oklahoma. So my mom was like, that's not real West Coast music. Real West Coast music is, because she's 60, obviously. So she looking at radioactive rap and like shit like that and shit that come from Frankie Knuckles, shit that come from Detroit and mm-hmm. Chicago and shit like that, because that's where they was kind of moving from at that point in time. So you, I, just start, I, I used to look at different elements of music, and then I was like, okay, why do Moby get the main stage at Coachella? He just playing our songs. Why do he get the main stage? He's playing our songs. They ain't putting niggas up there. They put a band that put some stuff four years ago because they put it into their stage show. Smart guy. Mm-hmm. So if you put it into your stage show, mm-hmm. I only said I spend I spend I spend money I don't have to put it on the road. Same. Cause for what? What you what you gonna what you gonna do? I'm I'm gonna go out there with 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 with, with, with a DJ and and a table and just me. That disrespect put it in. That's a fact. Well, yeah, that's how I feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. especially when it's more show. No, but what I'm saying, I'm saying that's just better for y'all, because at the end of the day, it's like, if you, if you niggas laid the foundation and gave us all this money and all this accessibility mm-hmm. and all this and all this opportunity, I feel like, I feel like to always take to, it to the to next push level. Up, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Always take I'm it saying, to the next I'm, level. I'm, yeah. Saying, yeah. I'm, saying, I'm saying, what the fuck I, I look like? What I look like being hand 20 hand years work. after you were doing the same shit you was doing? Smart. You smart. That's smart. Bro, if that's, a nigga, if, if, that's smart. Like, 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 smart. I say it all the time. I feel like the live show. I feel like the live show today in hip hop. Is 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 way more advanced and way better than the shows that no we had way, back in the know day. Why? Because a lot of people y'all age yeah. got the track playing. No disrespect to no, nobody. I yeah. agree. Yeah, that's yeah, that's I'm against worst. that shit. That's the now, worst. Me and Vince, we against that, that shit. Whole but, but, your shit but, playing and you but, rhyming over your hold shit hold playing. On. Agree. But, but take no time. nobody from y'all era, you know what I'm saying, had got the crowd moving the way we got the crowd moving. Like, them niggas is knocking each other out. Y'all on drugs, though. No, that's fine. I'm not on drugs. <laughs> I'm just saying, yo. Yeah. Yeah. That generation's yeah. on everything. Not everybody yeah. there, dog. Y'all on fucking niggas, everything. Niggas, niggas like smoking pills. weed. Niggas my lawyer, smoking my lawyer, weed. My lawyer, not my, not my, lawyer my took, base. My lawyer right. took his nephew to a show once, and he said a lot of their generation like it when the track is in it more than when it's not because they know they can sing along to the songs. Track, they don't yeah. know what the songs is. Going but, but, but you got to you you also, also think about it too. Back, but a lot of these songs, <laughs> not, they're I made leave. that way. I got to leave. Hold on, hold on. It's crazy. Hold on, hold on. That hurt me. No, a deep, lot deeper. of these songs though are made that way. It's like, yo, how can that nigga perform that song 
with all them effects and all that That's shit I, in, I, I, in, the, in the crowd I do, get the same I, effect. I, I do a TC Helicon pedal. You press with your foot or you put on the soundboard. But what I will say is... But no, these niggas no, don't know that. Because, That's a fact. Because it's no, sound, fact. it's no sound man R.A. F, F, F from Jenkins who was doing De La Soul do my sound. So what I'm saying is... A lot of niggas don't know a motherfucker that can direct them to somebody who's 40, 50 years old and get their live show. I should right. tell young yeah. fellas, get the in ears. Yeah. Get, if you don't know your yeah. words, I don't get the in ears. No, 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 but listen, with the they words playing, they just tell them, like, yo, that's not cool. That's not cool. But you're right. They just got the younger people in the crowd, like, ah, we know that song. These are the performing the crowd, and the crowd is feeding back because they got a house sound man. Who like, oh, you know what? I don't really care about what they got going on because these are just some young motherfuckers. So they putting the track in and just turning their mic down because they want their shit to be right. Damn, Damn. shit changed. It's like, it's, what I'm it's saying is they be fucking this. these little niggas over, bro, because ain't nobody tell them, shit hey, you changed. shouldn't do that. It be niggas that don't know that you should do it without the track. They just see other niggas do it. Right. And they do that's it like that. That's what cats say to me all the time. Yeah. Good shit, brother. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. Good girl. Good girl.